Uh, we've done four hours, so so we could we we could do an eight hour broadcast. That, that that'll be at five o'clock tomorrow morning. Yeah, yeah, that's all right. I'd be getting up then anyway. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Same's got a bed. Yeah, it depends whether whether or not this lot wants to stay and watch us for eight hours. In shifts, so you you can go off and have a couple of hours, Kip, and then come back, and then someone else will go off. There's uh, a lot of wee breaks though, and, and other breaks. Wee breaks, yeah. Food you break. might need some sort of hose arrangement so you could. You know, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah like a half hour in the middle where we all just eat food. Yeah, you would have to stop the stream when the kebab knocks at the door and things like that. I'd be like, "Yeah, kebabs here, bye, gone." Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Ah, right. Good evening, everybody. Welcome again. Another Monday night. Yes, and it's um, e models time. Yeah, that's us. E models. E models. Uk with Ted Fox, Chris, and I. As usual, the uh, usual Monday nighters. Uh, uh, you're welcome. Uh, it's uh, nine o'clock. It's the 18th of March. Jack and Jack. Oh, no. Sorry. Uh, uh, no, no, that's five. That was five o'clock, wasn't it? Was that five o'clock? Was that five to five, I think, on a Friday, wasn't it? No, it wasn't, yeah. wasn't nine o'clock, that's for sure. <laughs> and we're not uh, live from Norwich. Uh, yeah. Live from Norwich. You're near Norwich, Norwich aren't you? Hey? You're near Norwich somewhere, aren't you? No, I don't even know where Norwich is. It's, it's, it's down it's, south it's, somewhere. Like, no, it's like up north somewhere, I'm sure. Birmingham or something. Or, that's what uh, I said, up north somewhere. In, in Anglia. Yeah. So I thought it was like in East Anglia somewhere. What? what oh, we've got to clear this up. What was was it five to five? Was Cracker Jack five to five? Or was it something else? Something. I think it was Cracker Jack. Was it News Round? No. No. They used to announce it, didn't they? Five to five. Why was it five to five anyway, not five o'clock? I don't know. Hmm. But anyway, if you in chat know what was at five to five, if you watch Cracker Jack, let us know. I'm sure it used to be. It's Friday. It's five to five. It's Cracker Jack. <laughs> yeah, it could have been. Well, we might, you know, they, they people. They, yeah, people in chat saying it was Cracker Jack. Yeah, yeah. Everybody saying it was Cracker Jack. Trust your uncle Fox. Mm. Here we get a Cracker Jack pencil. What well, I've come all this way with a Cracker Jack pencil. Uh, mm. Uh, hey, if I was on Cracker Jack, I want to win at least a blankety blank checkbook and pen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've got an IKEA pencil. Is that cat? Is that the same thing? Is that? I've got I've got an, uh, an Argos pen, but that's just because I walked out with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, get them sc screw fix, same length, just by us. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't think an Argos pen is any better than like a betting shop pen or anything like that. So yeah, yeah. Uh, uh right my michael jackman is asking is chris the internet playing up again he's very stuttery compared to ted and fox i shouldn't be it's, it's lovely i've just done a quick speed test and it's it's really quick and nice um mm. am, am i stuttery to you two or am I just... no you're looking all right to me uh, it's usually it's usually me that's just yeah. grand bill stutters yeah grand bill uh, yeah, so yeah, it looks all right to us at this side anyway. Oh, well, must must just be um, Michael Jackman then. Yeah. Just when he's watching me, he goes stuttery. Yeah, his, 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 his PC goes, oh, goes all fluttery. Oh, I can't, can't, no. His, his PC must like you. That must be it, yeah. Uh, Mark Dale said he met a new client at work today. Turns out he's the editor of Model Boat magazine. Heck of an impressive band cave and collection of models. Uh, yeah, I think it, the editor's changed because the. Um, Cheers, got a while ago because I used to have quite a rapport with the editor of the Model Boat magazine. I just sent all my reviews to him that never got printed. Uh, never mind. Uh, right, yeah, so what's it back to where it was Monday night? Yeah, it's us, it's Hills again, and it's you. It's up to you what we talk about, uh, what we do, what we talk about, uh, subjects, uh, whether they be modeling, food related, TV related, or just old cars, old films, old policemen, just general shenanigans. Okay. Don't, shenanigans. don't so, forget as always uh, if you we, we desperately need you to give us stuff to talk about with your questions and comments so if you are watching this come and join in the live chat if you can't see the typey typey live chat if you're watching on a mobile device or somewhere that's built in 1994 and it doesn't have something on the computer uh, just click the little youtube icon in the bottom corner of the video down here somewhere and that will take you to the YouTube page where you can see the live chat and you can join in. And we'll be doing sticker giveaways and stuff later on, so you need to be in the live chat for that. Uh, and, of course, if you want to ask us a question or put a comment in chat that you need us to see, please do. But make sure you put it in big, fat capital letters so we've got a chance of seeing it, because the chat goes like this and we miss most of it. Mm -hmm. Put it in big, fat capitals, or if you want to, you can use the super chat button at the bottom of the chat, little dollar symbol, and that will 
uh, put your comment in a big colour box and we have no way to miss it then. Yeah, we do, uh, uh, we do apologise if we miss your comment. Uh, it's not we, we don't usually do it intentionally. I promise you. Uh, just a chat. Well, we're halfway through. Usually do it intentionally. Is it? Yeah, usually. <laughs> yeah, there's only certain individuals will just deliberately not. Uh, it's quite often we're in the middle of a discussion about something and somebody mentions something in chat and we see it. Or think, oh yeah, that's that's a good point. By that time it's gone up to the top, we've lost it. So yeah. Uh, yeah, don't forget, of course, if you don't have access to chat at all, if you just can't get chat. Uh, then you can just pop us an email to ted at emodels.co.uk with your comment or question, uh, and we can get it that way because we've all got the email open. So there you go. And I have ready prepared a fact for today in history. Today is the 18th of March. So today, on March 18th, 1781, the globular cluster M92 was independently rediscovered by Charles Messier. No. M92, Messier 92, because it's the Messier catalogue. I don't know why it was rediscovered and why he didn't get credit for the first time he discovered it, or maybe somebody else did and then forgot. I don't know. But yeah, it was the uh, M92 was discovered on this day in 1781. There you go. I, I like that fact. Have you got another fact of the day? Uh, I can do another one, but do, do, another one, do, one. Do, do the one that you had trouble with. Go on, go on. Oh, the one I had trouble with. Is that the one you want? Is it? <laughs> I thought you might want that one. Oh, here we go. Okay, on today. No, don't say that. On today, in oh, I can't find it now. There we go. Today, in thirteen twenty-five, according to legend, according to the legend, uh, ten o ten. Oh, can't do it. <laughs> Tenochtitlan is founded on the date on this date on an island in what was then at Lake Texcoco in the Valley of Mexico. I keep wanting to pronounce it as Teotihuacan, but that's Teotihuacan, but it's not Teotihuacan. It's Teno. Titlan. This isn't. I was. My brain's going Teotihuacan, but it's not. Mm. Oh, um, on 12, in twelve forty one, Krakow was ravaged by Mongols. There you go. Some interesting facts. Uh, well, None cool. of them were pleasant, apart from the first one. Busy day, uh, uh, just a comment been made in chat. I should point out, which is quite apt, really, because we have a giveaway this week, don't we? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, you've still got time if you haven't commented on last week's video to dash over and comment on it, because Marty Himmen uh asks help i'm trying to find a model of the german how about you for how about how about how about how about how about how about you how about 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 Last week, we were giving away the Ravel 172nd Flying Saucer Haunabu at two, uh, and that was the prize. And today, we will be pulling the winner from the comments. So if you want to win this, uh, and you, you've basically got about an hour to go on to last week's show and put a comment on there, something about space or the moon or something, it doesn't really matter. Basically, it needs to be a comment on last week's show. So there you go. So if you want to win the the not real, it never actually existed uh, German flying saucer from World War Two, because it didn't really exist, uh, then you need to go and put a comment on that from last week, and we'll pull them in a bit. Yeah. So get yourself over there, Mark. You might have you might be in with a chance of winning it for this week. Yes, it is in stock though. So if you want to, if you don't win it, just go into the website and look hashtag o three nine o three. That's the that bit there. Is I don't know why I highlighted it. I'm not screen sharing anymore. <laughs> It's, I'll put it in chat. It's hashtag. Oh, I'll put in fact, I'll put the name of it. I'll put the whole thing in. I'll just. There you go. It's in chat for you now. It's the hashtag number 03903. That's how you can find it on the website. Cool. Uh, um, and to, well, over to you, Chris, I guess. Uh, who's in tonight then? Should I have a nose back through the chat? Uh, the first person I saw in chat, <clears throat> which was a little while ago, was uh, Colin at Festa 67's workshop, one of your mods for tonight. Uh, he was in. I don't know, Probably not first, but you know it, it only loads up when you're sort probably, of going and looking at it. Last week. Yeah, um, saying hi, gang, and uh, then we've got a new name that I haven't seen in there before. Throwaway modelers in uh, another mod. Dad's in. Uh, that's uh, from uh, Scaly Models. Uh, Lord Barkley the third. Hey, Dad, gentlemen. Uh, Sergeant Bones is in. He wasn't in. He was in the kitchen. Where is Sergeant Bones? Then, then he's come back and he was there, but then he might have gone away again. I don't know. He'll be around. Uh, Phil Kett, uh, uh, Marty Herman, as we've said, uh, Christopher C. Me, I'm there. I said hello because I'm polite like that. 
And then Fox came in and modeled Hello. Me. Said we're powering Ted up, and I, I thought we had to wind him up. I, I didn't know <coughs> power. Yeah, yeah similar, but yeah. it's been a long day. Uh, Skullfish is in. Uh, Michael Jackman still. Uh, Immortal UK. That will be Ted's alter ego for tonight. If he does type anything in, you'll see him come up as the, the bright yellow Immortal suck. Immortals suck. It says. Um, Ickle Pete is about Michael Jackman still. Uh, dead. dead, dead. To interrupt you, Michael Jackman says. By the way, I'm in Norwich. Oh, somebody's it's in Norwich. Yeah. Where, where is it? <laughs> yeah, where, where uh, is it? Is, is it in East Anglia somewhere? I think it's in East Anglia somewhere. But then again, when I was young, I thought gammon was fish. So mm, it's not. Don't, no. don't take my word for much. Uh, Vincent and Mr. Lothman are making his in as well. Uh, Wayne Haywood, uh, AJ, uh, Mark Ledbitter, Biter, Ledbitter, Bitter. One of them. Did you, did you fall over that one? Mark's in. Uh, Paul's in, and uh, Carl up making models came in even before we got the stickers ready. I know. Stickers, uh, in, fact, in fact, Carl came in and that prompted me to get the stickers out. So <laughs> <laughs> um, normally, the rustic of the sticker bag goes Carl up here. Uh, we have uh, Red Leno 8 and Zadster, uh, Andrew Leary, Anders Ericsson, Osric 9000, uh, Adam Clark. Uh, now, there's so many names I'm remembering which ones I've said and which ones I haven't said. So. Uh, Jamie Bone, uh, TJ Quintino, TJ Hooker. No, not, I'm saying, no. I just got, I've just got like, like American theme tunes in my head. Now. <laughs> uh, cool Stuart Feliz Mark Bell, uh, Quano Man's in high all he says. Uh, Paul Horner, and uh, then everybody's going to start coming in now. I think that's everybody. Yeah, <coughs> what it was, a lot of people hopefully will get the uh, notification that eBottles is live. So that's yep. when they. Uh, oh, Philip, Philip Prime, I've just seen down there, says Norwich is in Norfolk and I live 20 odd miles away. Uh, Zadster confirms as well, it's in the middle of that lumpy bit of England that sticks out northeast of London to what, Wales? No, the other, the lumpy bit the other side. Oh, right. I got me left and right mixed up. Yeah. That's not part of England, Wales. Is, is that where the mustard comes from? What, what Wales? Wales. Uh, Coleman's mustard, is that Norwich? I don't know. Well, I don't like down the road. Um, so yeah, that's, that's everybody that's in tonight, and, and anybody that I haven't mentioned, and everybody that knows me and stuff like that. So, Mark Dale says, "Is gammon not fish?" Damn, that means I'm not a vegetarian. Uh, right, right. So we're down there. Yep. Uh, I forgot what I was going to say. Never mind. It'll come back to me. Thanks for coming. We'll see you all next week. Bye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now the rest of it's up to you guys. We'll just sit back and let get on with it, and we'll jump in when uh, 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 the rump of the UK opposite the peak said it shit. Well, uh, yeah, never mind. Uh, Coleman's move mustard production. Col yeah, yeah. That's the said Coleman's move mustard mustard production. So they must have been from Norwich. I'm sure they were. I have no knowledge of such facts. Michael Jackman says Coleman's factory shutting next year. Oh, where we, where we could get our mustard from? Nice. Can't it's be nice. moving. Up, can't move over that French stuff or German mustard. Uh, it's not the same. Oh, or the worst mustard in the world, American mustard. Yeah, no, it's that bright yellow stuff. It's just, it's just like mayonnaise with colouring. It's just is, is it? It's not as bad as American chocolate, though, is it? Oh no, nothing's as bad as American chocolate. Apart mm. from you know, more American chocolate. <laughs> I mean, American mustard's fine on hot dogs, but it's not really mustard. It's just coloured mayonnaise, really. You want mustard to, like, you know, slap you about a little bit. Mm. Uh, uh, Dad says he gets his mustard from Asda. Yeah, good man. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's, yeah. <clears throat> what, what, what would we do without Asda? Well, the supermarkets are available. Yes. <laughs> We're not affiliated uh, anyway to Asda. Uh, Mark Thiel has a question. We'll start with model making questions and then we generally segue into other things. Um, he says, if I was to do a boat for the first time, any suggestions? Is there any sailing yacht style kits? Right. Uh, right. I can answer this one. Uh, yeah. Right. There's He's not, not going to do the big sub. No, that's not going to. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I take it, Mark. He, he said he, he said a little bit earlier on he was he was in, inspired by meeting the, the it was in fact the designer from uh, model boats uh the model boats magazine that you probably read or see the uh, about out and about is primarily um radio controlled uh boats that they build 
or they feature in those magazines. Yeah, there are plastic kits as well, but they primarily uh, 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 deal with the uh, RC guys. Um, there's a wealth of boats. It depends whatever you want to build. It's out there. If uh, if you can think of it, you can build it. I would, if you're going to get into RC boats, I would first of all uh, try jumping into something like a tug or a little fishing boat and then go across to sail. Uh, sail is a, a whole new different, whole different game as well. If you just want a, a static yacht, there's plenty of them as well. I think TK. I don't know if TK is in tonight. TK has built a couple of them. Uh, yeah, but you really got to decide on that, man. Uh, so what do you what do you want to do? Uh, I, was yeah. you, I was thinking of a yacht, but not RC, just a kit. Yeah, there's yeah, there's it's quite a few. Um, a Marty, is that the one TK was building? Is it yeah, a Marty? Doing, uh, a Marty yeah. kits, TK. Yeah, a Marty kits, or there's Billings uh, as well, uh, with just a couple of names off the top of my head. Uh, I'm not sure if e-models do them, but uh, I'm sure that a contact with them, uh, drop them a line and see what they can get you. It does depend as well if he wants to do just regular plastic kits or proper wood boat kits or final yeah. vacuum. Yeah, the, the Marty and the, the Billings are... Uh, off more than more often plank on frame kits uh building from wood uh yeah but there are one or two very uh, a few uh uh plastic kits but not that many so that's where you're gonna really have to go go and grab a copy of the model boats magazine it'll tell you everything in there uh, all the adverts will be in the back pages mm. or they used to be anyway and Spitty Curate asks a question that I don't understand, but he says, question for the crew, is there a particular supermarket brand of cinnamon that's best for rust streaks? Ooh. I don't use cinnamon. Uh, I think I've missed a joke here. <laughs> what, if it's about cinnamon sticks, you need to ask Dave. That that yeah, it doesn't use them for rust sticks. He makes logs out of them, doesn't he? It, Dave, does, Dave does lots of things. With cinnamon. Dave, Dave keeps cinnamon stick companies in business. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Mark Dell says, Thank, nice one, thanks, chaps. We'll start doing some research. Yeah, it just depends if you want to go whole hog and do the wooden stuff, which is a whole different skill set and very rewarding if, you know, if, you know, if, you, if you're looking forward to doing mm -hmm. that. Uh, or if you want to stick with your plastic stuff, uh, or if you want to go for big sailing boats with tons and tons of rigging or steam vessels with the not rigging, it's up to you. Yeah. Just do it tickles your fancy. <laughs> Uh, but there, uh, yeah, there's lots of different types of sailing ships as well. So, yeah, the world is your oysters. Uh, Mark Heyman comment, uh, just commented on last week's video from last week, uh, one week ago. I did put uh, a link in the chat earlier on to last week's video in case anybody hasn't commented on it yet. <laughs> uh, yeah, have, well, good luck, Matt, uh, uh, Martin. Uh, however, as I say, if you don't win, you can always drop a, a, get to a look on the eModels website and you'll find it on there. Mm. Mm. Uh, what else? Uh, go ahead, Donald. Watch, guys. Uh, uh, yeah, Donald Mott says, "Hey, guys, question. Just ask the question. You don't need to. Just ask it. <laughs> Make sure to put your questions and comments in capital letters, though, so we can spot them as they go past. Because towards the chat's going like that. <laughs> as far as we can tell, you're all sat there going on the keyboard like this. Da -da 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 -da. So yeah, we're like, there's oh, it's gone. Yeah. What have you been building, Ted? What have you been doing this week?" Uh, okay. yeah, yeah, what have we been doing this week, guys? Well, what have I been doing? Uh, to be honest, this week I haven't really had time to do anything. I uh, started a new job uh, at the end of last week. Um, first first official day in was this morning. So getting prepared for that last week, uh, the run up to get some work in. Um, you can't uh, so get so can you at the moment? Yeah, yeah, can yeah. I think I, I, to talk about certain things. Yeah, yeah. It, we're having the press, uh, the media open day tomorrow, so everything will uh, be wide open tomorrow. So yeah, I'm working at the Windermere Jetty, which is the museum of uh, boats, steam, and stories. Um, yeah, a great new adventure in the Lake District up here. Uh, so hopefully, if you're in the Lake District, like, come and see us. Mm. Uh, so, yeah, so it's been a busy, a frantic, hectic couple of days so far. So that I haven't had a chance to do anything. Uh, have, you, have you done anything, Fox? Uh, I have done, uh, I've had, again, I've been tied up like you, I've been tied up with the real life stuff, but I have done a little bit on the submarine. You won't see it. I'll zoom in, but you won't see it. Uh, let's have a look if I can get my zoom going. Let's so get my zoom no, on. That's the focus. I know, it automatically goes into out of focus every time <laughs> I do that. Move closer, see if I can get my zoom on. Okay. Right, so get my enormous face out of the way. So we have 
There we go. I have. Um, it won't be going up for another few days, but the next episode I have added the antenna wire to the submarine. So you can see there it's just got the wire going along the front here, and then it splits into the wire shape and goes down the back. So this is all now assembled, and the antenna wire is on. There were some nightmares and disasters with the antenna wire, but that's now been finished. Uh, I've got some little isolators done with bits of super glue, and it's ready for priming and painting. And hopefully, in the next day or two, uh, the project is to get this primed and painted and done and finished and happiness. So, there we go. So, all the building is now done, it's ready for the painting. Mm. So, yes, that's what I've been doing this week. Uh, Chris, well, Chris, I think it's your turn now. Me myself, I, I, I've been very busy this week, I've done lots of things. I've, I've finished the MIGs. The, my my e model was built. There you go. Just I can't, I can't play with my focus at the moment, but uh, yeah, I, I've done two MIGs and stuck That's on one to MIG a, and a of, uh, MIG. Yeah, there's this one and there's another one. Um, stuck on a bit of board, made it a runway type theme. Um, so yes, that that is they completed and done and ready ready for delivery up to e models Yay. at some point. When is your when is your episode due to go up? I, I'm having trouble with the editing bit of it. Um, oh, that's right. Yeah, my yeah. rendering's not working as it should. So it's it's in, it's all filmed, obviously, because it's already happened. Um, it's filmed. It's sitting there. It's all put together. But my computer's not playing balls at the moment. So I need to play around with it and try and get that done. Hopefully in the next couple of days. But I keep an eye on the models channel for it. It will be there when it is. As and when when it's not broken anymore. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll look forward to seeing that. They're pretty awesome, though, I've got to tell you. Were they fun to do? They, they were. Um, I, I had it, it seemed like a long build. I mean, they're only tiny little planes and it shouldn't take very long. But I had other things interrupting and sort of lost me mojo for a bit along the way in the second half. But uh, yeah, I'm, I've been happy with them. They've done. I say, I've done one of them um, as a, a shiny, sort of, <coughs> should be able to see it's shiny. Um, just C1. Uh, over the, over a gloss black, um, and it looks really nice and shiny. Uh, the other one is shiny underneath, but you can't see that because I've glued it onto the board. Uh, but on the top, I've just done a, a made-up camo pattern. Um, I don't generally do... Well, none of, none of us do rivet counting and exact no. to, to everything. Um, so it's more inspired by... And, yeah, I've just sort of picked some colours and made a camo and just went with it. Cool. Um, two, two things. Uh, first of all, the chat is completely ignoring us. Ever since no, no surprise because there. they're talking about making sailing boats and things, <laughs> so we just, we've not even got their attention. Now. We could just talk about these. Yeah, that's, uh, that's fine. We'll just... They won't even notice. They'll, they'll rewind and watch later. They didn't yeah. even notice the swimsuit section, so you know. Mm. Uh, and we have some clarification from Philip Prime. The the comment about uh, cinnamon sticks, which uh, suddenly went. Of course, yes. Um, he says he's referring to the video on Tested.com uh, last week or in the last few days. Tested.com uh, put up a video with um, Norm from Tested doing uh, a painting and weathering demonstration. He built uh, the 1500 scale space battleship Yamato. And uh, a woman whose name I can't remember, she's a professional, sort of semi-professional model maker, was showing him how to do some simple weathering techniques. And one of the things she did was, was streaks with the cinnamon. It was terrible. It was, don't, it, it was. Nah, right. I, I, I saw a bit of the video and didn't get through it all. So they, I obviously turned it off before they brought the cinnamon out. So yeah, I, no, it's, it's like, I love Tested, but what norm did to that space battleship yamato and then it, it, uh, i can't just oh yeah i i, I started to watch it then as they panned across the so the, the ship and you could see all those nubs and everything sticking out from everywhere I thought, oh, I'll leave it's it. like oh i said no i was like to myself norm you're surrounded by professional model makers including adam savage who worked at ilm and yet oh it just looked, it was terrible it when it finished all all the comments on the video are just saying what the hell so, yes, that's what he's referring to. Like, oh, I, I I'm, I'm slightly lost in the chat now. And Anders says, I, I love Ted in the Mankini. He was, he was paying attention. He saw the swimsuit. Yeah, somebody, at least somebody saw it. No, I didn't, I didn't waste, my, waste, my, waste my time standing in the cold putting that on. Hmm. Uh, interesting question for you. Um, Joseph Borg, welcome, Joseph, uh, asks, Has anyone had any idea? Wow, what happened there? <laughs> my mouth fell over itself. Has anyone any idea what colour primer under purple? Purple? Yeah. Now, I would have thought, depending on what kind of purple you want, it's probably going to be a red or a black, maybe. Yeah, I was thinking of red. 
maybe a, maybe a, like a, a rust coat type color. Yeah, I mean, I would have thought maybe a bright red if you can get one, or a, maybe even a bright yellow just to get the brightness coming through the purple. But I don't know how transparent purples would be or not. I, I, I did the um, purple, which is very dusty. I must admit, it's terrible. I forgot you did a bear um, guy. I, I did, did a bear guy and did some purple on it. He's got a purple hat and cane. Uh, I don't remember what color I primed it. It was that long ago that I did it. It wasn't anything special. It was either black or grey. You need to hold um, that up for the entire internet to see that, there, there, Chris, because <laughs> that's just that's just you should always you should always give bear guys your major screen time. They won't see the. Well, he sits over the back. You can always see his head over the top. But um, yeah, uh, I didn't do anything special with it. The the purple was uh, Tamiya um, purple. Hmm. So again, nothing special, and it came out quite well. Yeah, I mean, if you if you just if you're looking at if you're looking at just a solid purple color, you're not doing any pre shading and stuff. Um, then probably I would say either play it safe and go for a neutral like light gray if you just want to be not influenced. But if you want to make it really bright or make it really bold and dark, perhaps depending on what shade you want, I'd say maybe a red or possibly a black if you want it really dark and deep. But LD said he uses blue on the purple. Yeah, that might work. That would that would certainly make it dark if it if it goes on sort of translucent then that might give it a much deeper darker depth mm. deeper darker depth that's yeah i mean purple is one of those colors that's got a, a range to it isn't it the, you know yeah. you, purple can be quite light or quite dark or anyway, there's probably proper names for them in between but yeah. we don't it can kind of go from the blue to the red really so so uh, and dad says he thinks i use gray so thank you yeah well, someone's paying attention to my videos i mean if, <laughs> if the paint is the kind of exactly the color that you want then I would say play it safe and go for a neutral color like a, a light gray. Uh, but if it's if if it's if it's not if you look at the the paint and you go that is exactly the purple I need, then just go for a light gray because then it won't change it. Uh, back to the model making questions. Uh, Donald Mott uh, said he's working on the Ravel's uh, USS Arizona and he wants to add realistic anchor and an anchor chain. How would he accomplish this? <coughs> Right. First of all, don't use jewelry chain. Yes, yeah. it, it just doesn't look right. Um, you can find from uh, specific model suppliers, and I was probably thinking that there is an aftermarket kit already for this. Um, if you look at, uh, I think it's Fleet Scale, something like that. They probably have scale anchor chain in stock. Uh, I don't think it's anything that e-models would sell. Um, what you need to go to a specialist sort of boat uh, model supplier for it. Um, you want a studded anchor chain, it's it's links with a stud in the middle of them. Uh, and the anchor itself, if you can get a white metal anchor and put that on the end of the chain, it will actually hold the chain properly and not make it look all loopy and linked and sort of fluffy. Uh, so that's what you want to do. Have a look at some specialist uh, model boat suppliers. Uh, and that's, uh, yeah, but certainly don't use jewelry chain. And also anchor chain is a pig to paint uh, because it, or you paint it and all the paint chips off and then it takes forever, <coughs> excuse me, takes forever to do. So good luck with that one. Uh, Joseph Borg, he says, thanks guys. We'll try a few test pieces. You just say, what about white? White would also be great. It will keep it nice and bright. Uh, Mark Dale says, I learned a new trick today. Uh, miniature figures, wow, well, miniature figures, I'll start again, or Warhammer figures dipped upside down in a cup of normal oil or other sort of shading products are available. Uh, shake excess off and dab the excess off. It looks so what he's saying is he's basically saying, like, if you've got like a shade or a wash and you want to, you've got a figure and you want to put a wash on it, instead of brushing the wash on, you just dip the figure in. Uh, and that's actually how it used to be done before citadel shades came out because people used to use um army painter stuff and some of the army painter um what are they called i can't remember what they're called now they're like strong and medium tone they're basically shades um it came in a tin pot like a tit like a tin of paint like a proper decorating your house tin of paint and you get the figure and you dip it in and you'd drip it off and you put it to one side for 24 hours um so yeah that's a completely valid way of doing it you can brush it on you can just dip your figure in just make, you have to keep an eye on it, make sure it doesn't pool up and you get big blobs, that kind of kills it. But yeah, nothing wrong with that, it's a good technique. 
Yeah. Ah, it's always a, it's all modelling questions tonight. Yeah, no, it's good, yeah. isn't it? It's like we're doing the year of the modelling question. Then we can talk about testing, things, right? testing, oh, it's very yeah. strange. It doesn't feel at all right. Yeah, yeah. testing our knowledge tonight. Yeah, but it's just not the yeah. Uh, believe me, the the e model streamers are not always like this, you know. Yeah, uh, Frankie goes to Hollywood. Says hello, hello from Italy. Have you got lost, Frankie? Yeah, that's, that's not where you should be. be. Mm -hmm. That's not where you live. Is it on holiday? A holiday or something? Could be. Are you, uh, did you did you manage to get? Oh, I think he did because we made a joke the other week about him having to make sure he gets a lot of pairs of very tight white jeans. Ah, uh, I seem to remember we made that joke. Um, we've got to say, by the way, um, uh, let us know in chat two things what are you making? What's on your bench at the moment? And secondly, as always, what have you had for your dinner or what are you having for your dinner later on? The two yeah, things I guarantee us conversation later on. And, and is there any takeaways ordered? Yes, no. has anybody Which... ordered a pizza yet? And if, you, of course, if you say you're going to have something like pizza or something like, you need to explain what's on it. You can't just say pizza or kebab. You have to explain what you're having on it. Mm -hmm. What do uh, you have for your tea, Ted? Um, chicken and chips. Oh, yes, I had yes. lasagna and chips. Yeah, just a simple oh. chicken and chips because I thought the wife was expecting me <clears> home at one o'clock until I phoned her up and said, "Hello, um, one o'clock finishes and one o'clock anymore. It's going to be more like half past five. Yeah. So, yeah, your dinner's in the dock then. So. Oh. Yeah, or the cat, or the, or, the, or the chicken. Well, your dinner is the chicken. One of the two. Yeah. <laughs> what do you yeah. have, Chris? I, I had chicken, actually, funny enough. Yeah, that's not, not, not Ted's chicken. I'm sure that's still around. Um, yeah, we had uh, a local takeaway place. So I've got a chicken, chicken burger -y type things. Uh, and zurich has got a question for us. Huh? Uh, he says, how is the AK Interactive paint compared to the MIG paints? Um, airbrushing. Uh, ah. They're kind of really, they're both really good. Yeah, I think it's about the same. Yeah, yeah they're, they're kind of very similar. The only difference is the MIG paints, you can't spray them like any other acrylic. Mm. If you do, they'll look terrible. You have to do MIG paints in thin, misty layers. If you do like it, if you treat it like a Tamiya paint where you can just slap it, what can you do, Ted? Slap it on. Yeah. The, the, the ammo paints, you absolutely <laughs> must, must, must apply it in multiple thin mist coats. You can't put a thick coat on, otherwise it will go orange peely and shiny. So you have to do it. But other than that, they're just as good as each other. Yep. I would say if you're starting out with airbrushing, you probably prefer the AK because they're less hassle. You can just spray those on willy nilly and not worry about it. Mm. The, the MIG paints are fantastic, but I wouldn't recommend them for airbrush beginners because you need to be able to know how to use the airbrush confidently. So then you can then learn how to use the MIG paints. And not going. Uh, yeah, if you if you search on Facebook or anything like that around for the internet, that uh, uh, my MIG paint is terrible. Have yeah, it's because you haven't washed your sprues and things like that, and uh, you've got oil uh, sort of contamination on your model and things like that. It's not. It's the paint. It's the way you use it. Yeah, um, you absolutely so. must build it up in mist coats. You can't do a mist coat and then a thick coat like every other kind of paint. You can't do that. Absolutely, you can't. So, because you, the first coat, you need to break the surface tension uh, of the because that's what causes your pooling and your things. So it gives the same effect as though you have got oil contamination mm. on your on your plastic. It looks the same, uh, but it's not. You just the paint just needs to break the surface tension of the plastic, and then you can apply the top coat on uh, another coat on top of that, and then you can spray uh, a lot a lot better. But just but just make sure with the big ones though, that every coat you put on is always basically that first spray coat is a key coat. Every coat you put on must be like that. Mm. So you can't do mist coat and thick coat, and yeah, you have to make sure. But yeah, you kind of approach it differently. So for absolute beginner airbrushes, I wouldn't recommend the MIG do the AK. But if you know what you're doing with an airbrush, either are just as good. <laughs> uh, we've got some answers to the uh, what's on your bench and what's in your belly. Oh yeah, uh, what's in your got, belly? What's um, in your belly? Yeah, we should make we should make that um any e models uh, <laughs> live stream. What's in your belly? What's on your bench and what's in your belly? Uh Mark says he's got Twiggy Pie on the bench at the moment. I I think we need to know more about that. I don't know what that means. Well or, or Twiggy you know Twiggy Pie is it's the uh, I thought oh, yeah, well, I that, but I don't yeah, know. He's spelt it Tweedy, so I don't know if it's something different. I don't know. Uh, Shadow and Scale Models has got beans on toast with mag Maggie sauce, Maggie sauce, sauce? Maggie sauce. What's Maggie sauce? I don't know what Maggie sauce is. <laughs> Two statements that confuse me already. <laughs> <laughs> it's good, isn't it? Maggie um, sauce. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, 
Mark. Frank, Frankie does confirm Mark, he's on vacation right. in Italy. Oh, okay, uh, on vacation. It, uh, it, it, it jumped a bit, so I might have missed a bit. Osric 9000's got chicken and dumplings. I'm assuming that's the belly yeah. bit rather than the modelling bit. Oh, oh. Uh, uh, Lord the Third has just had hot rice pudding. And Chancer yeah. NW had chili chips and cheese. Oh, from the chippy. Mm. Uh, TK is on the bench. It's Larry 172nd uh, Horsa Glider and Hasagawa 148 F16. Dinner, chili con carne. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've jumped a bit. So if you do a few, I'll do a few. Yeah. Uh, LD is doing the Jewel Assault Shroud at Gundam and for eats is a classic fry up. Oh, I'll be round in two minutes. Oh. Uh, Phil East says sausage butties and I'm brush painting an HG at Gundam. Oh, Joseph Borg is doing an Italeri truck Peterbilt 125th scale on the bench, but doesn't tell us of his food plans, so we will never know. Yeah, that's going to be a big kit. Uh, are you jumping in with a few, Ted, or, you, or should we just yeah, carry on? Deal, uh, he said he's got no dinner, no model yet, so that's the end of that conversation. Don't like food, uh, and not bought his next one yet. I don't like food. I <laughs> not like food. <laughs> I like don't eat. He is going to die. <laughs> don't like food. <laughs> I don't like food, do we? Uh, uh, Paul de Tomaso says, my bench is in pieces still. I think we'll do uh, spaghetti and garlic bread for supper. Oh, spaghetti. Oh, 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 I take it that's traditional spaghetti, not Heinz spaghetti. Yeah, it sounds proper. proper, yeah, proper uh, like oops, spaghetti oops. Yeah, it's not, not going to be spaghetti and tomato sauce now. It's going to be proper, it's like proper, proper spaghetti meatballs. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Spaghetti, Heinz spaghetti on garlic bread just doesn't have the same sort of... Yeah. Feel about it, does it? Yeah. And Ericsson confirms that he does know about the MIG paint. In that case, they're both just as good as each other. If you know what you're doing, they're just fine. I would say the MIG paint's maybe a little less durable than the AK, but not much. Mm. Uh, mm. Uh, Mark says at throw says to throw a modeler type of kebab grilled mincemeat. Uh, he must have mentioned a kebab earlier. Yeah, yeah. We said if we were doing an eight-hour stint, we'd have to order kebabs in, wouldn't we? So. Uh, Wanders also says, "Are AK the same?" No, AK. You can slap them all over the model without thinking about it. They're fine. Right, you slap it on. It's only ammo paints that you have to be really careful with. Uh, Osric says he started brush painting some uh, GW uh, Ed Mech figures. I don't know what Ed, yeah. Ed Mech. Is that, uh, like my, like is my um, Skitari Rangers. Okay. They're mostly machine, but they're people with mostly machineness. They live on Mars. Adeptus Mechanicus. Yes. Uh, Nevbo uh, Model Making's in. Welcome, dude. Uh, you're, you're one of our fellow uh, eModels video makers. Uh, 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 Michael Jackman said he's been busy with the PC. He's been too busy with the PC. With the PC. Uh, to work on the USNFFG. USNFFG. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Stephen, Stephen Hill Harris has just finished masking a sterling canopy in bare metal foil. I didn't even know they still made bare metal foil. And Dad apparently is having sausage. Dad says sausage butties. I'm in. Uh, sausage butties with brown sauce or red sauce. Uh, Phil East says brown sauce. Uh, mm. Stephen Rolf says evening all belly spicy noodles bench still the B nine. <laughs> I do like this belly and bench. <laughs> <laughs> belly and bench. Okay, welcome to welcome to the e model live stream. What's in your belly and what's on your bench? I think we need uh, to do this every week. We make uh, spin right says, quick and boring for me. Scrambled egg on toast with a magnum ice cream for pudding. Uh, mm. uh, an FBO model making is having cheese on toast and making his La Ferrari because he's that's what he's filming for e model. Oh. All right, Red, Red Lynn says uh, Maggie, Maggie sauce is multi purpose seasoning like soy and whistlers. I don't know what this is, but I know what it's a seasoning sauce. I, I actually put soy sauce, dark soy sauce, on everything. Everything. And I've discovered recently proper stinky Vietnamese fish sauce makes everything better, but only if you have, like, a single drop. If you make, like, a big pot of bolognese or stew, or a single drop of fish sauce will make it incredible. More than a single drop, and it'll be the stinkiest thing you'll ever eat. You'll ever eat. You won't eat it. A single drop would just makes everything nicer. Uh, Osric says, and now I'm eating coffee and walnut cake, all of it. Uh, Paul is in at Team Inept. He says, uh, pizza and several concurrent wooden HO scale buildings. Hmm. There's obviously a conversation going on with Dad here because Dad says, I do have blue plate. I do have blue paints though, but only to get them to make them go hard. Dad doesn't like blue things, so he, he buys the blue paints just to let them go off. <laughs> 
Uh, Andrew Leary says a homemade curry in a Ravel 148th tornado ADV. Homemade curry. Oh, I uh, don't make curry. Oh, yeah. That, yeah, that homemade curry is good. Yeah. Uh, Colin Tansley says pizza sandwich, Panzer four. That's all. You, that's all the information you need. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we, and, we can figure out which one's which. That, that's uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, Mark, like Mark Redbetter said, egg and chips to be a easy eight Sherman. What else do you? What? what yeah, we. No other information required. Maybe, maybe it's just my growing up, but to me, egg and chips is such a Coronation Street dinner. <laughs> I don't know if you <laughs> watched it in the eighties. They're always having egg and chips and beans. Yeah. Now, with with the egg, do you have your egg runny or do you have it hard or a bit in the middle? Both. If if mm. you can get one of each, that's brilliant. But I, it doesn't really matter. I don't care, me. If you're making yeah. butties, you want it runny. If you're making not butties, then you want it. You know, no, no, I'm I'm of the other persuasion. I prefer a some an egg sandwich with a non runny egg uh, yolk. Yeah, because it just makes the egg just becomes a sauce in that case, and it's just you've got nothing to eat. Mm. If you have a solid yolk, you can put it in the butty and you can make the butty. Mm. Uh, we have some clarification from Mark Goodale. I just got oh, that. Bit. Yep. Oh, go on, Chris. You're going to read it. Uh, it says uh, he knows I'm aware and unusual, but it helps us stay alive. But cereal and fruit seem to work occasionally, but mostly coffee. If you do, oh, yeah, <laughs> so coffee only yeah. diet would work for me. Coffee, cereal, and fruit. Fair enough. I would consider coffee a meal. <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh, Quano Man says, right now, them puffins on Fox's desk are looking tasty. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't mean it. He didn't mean <laughs> it. Oh, no, and Gorthor, 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 no. Go, go, Gorthor, I have to read. It's on my little bit card. I've got a little card with the name written on it. Uh, uh, Adam, Sav Adam Clark, I was going to say Adam Savage. Uh, it'd be good if Adam Savage came in, wouldn't it? Hi, Adam. Uh, Adam Clark says, sausage and mash with carrots and broccoli. Obviously, yeah. get these three a day. Marty mm. Hayman's eating a gyro or gyro uh, and a uzu and Greek potatoes. <gasps> mm. uh, Spinny Q said, solid yolk. Are you mad? It has to be a runny. No, mm. no, if you're making sandwiches with it, if you want to make it, yeah, if, got to be, if you're just having like egg chips and beans and you're not having bread, then yes, it's got to be runny. But if you actually want to put it in a piece of bread and make a sandwich to make it into your face, <laughs> you don't put it runny otherwise, it just... Uh, that's, well, that's when you're going to make your egg, your sausage, your chip sandwiches eggs uh, got there in the end. It's when you got your make your, your chip butty with thin mother's pride bread, so you can squash it together and have all the ridges of your chips, and the egg sort, of, the, the bread sort of goes like a mushy type texture. That that's a proper egg, that's a proper chip butty. Mm. Um, did somebody mention about Adam Savage earlier? Yeah. Okay. Spidey Correct says Adam Savage is coming to, to apologise about Norm. Did I miss something? No, I I, I misread uh, Adam. Adam someone. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> like bang, Adam Savage. Uh, uh, Rogel confirms that he does consider coffee a meal. Uh, mm -hmm. David Mayo is making is eating chicken soup, good soup, and is uh, making a one one hundred scale goof two point oh. Good effort. Uh, George Gabriel's in, says better late than never. Yeah, even if you've just got in time for the, the main course. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Wayne Haywood is saying turkey sarnie and pickles, but now I'm hungry again and Bandai speeder bike. Uh, George, we're asking you, we've got a new thing. It's what's in your belly and what's on your bench. Yeah. So it might yeah. be what you're going to have in your belly or what you've had in your belly. <clears throat> yeah. So, so, your yeah. so if, if you're a regular, you'll know when we start that the usually around the first question will be in the future. What's on your what's on your bench and what's in your belly? We might just say belly and bench time. <laughs> <laughs> belly and bench. Uh, uh, Paul T. Uh, says the fried egg chili sauce and chutney sandwich is a thing of beauty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I quite like, quite like the idea of that one. Hmm. Uh, uh, tur tur turkey sani and pickles. That's a Christmas thing, isn't it? Uh, yeah, um, that's all year round. Boxing Day thing for us, yeah. Yeah, uh, Mark Bell says, you'd think something of this exhaustive list would make me want something, but still not. I think it's clearly just me then. <laughs> uh, think now. Curry, rice and chips. Go to your local Chinese and have curry, rice and chips. That's always a good stodge filler. Mm -hmm. Marty Aiden says, yeah, the wife is Greek, so I eat very well. <laughs> oh. <laughs> by all count. It says washing up as well if you're Greek, doesn't it? Just smash the plates in the fire. Hoppa! <laughs> Uh, Phil, Kett. Place, a bit knackered, but. Phil Kett says fish and chips, Daleks. Cool. That's that's yeah, that's how we want it. That's how we want it. Yeah. George Gabriel joins in. He says deep dish pizza with all the meats and currently building several IKEA furniture pieces. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that's not what's. Yeah, that's building the bench. Yeah, it's, it's still modelling, but just one to one scale. Yeah, one to one scale. Yeah. Osric nine thousand says he models already do mugs. Come and get them to do plates as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bah. We'll do dirt chips. You could just smash them. <clears throat> uh, I think we. I think we've done the food. Now. Yeah, they were caught, caught up. Yeah, so, so what's on the telly? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, right. Uh, yeah. We never found out what you were doing, Ted. Oh no, you've been working. He didn't, didn't do anything. Yeah, yeah. Anything. yeah I've just, <laughs> just been really lucid today. Having a chance to get the bench. I did. I did attempt to get something going. I got the uh, the brought the submarine through from the living room, put on the dining room table. Uh, got all my newspaper out. You know, like just like the old days, covering your table with newspaper. Mm -hmm. And then I got called away to do some chores, so I never got around to it. Uh, <laughs> um, what else has been going on? Uh, Colin Talsey said he's halfway through his 116 Panzer IV build, hey. and he's already in the of his next kit. Should it be a BF-109, FW-190, <laughs> uh, a Hellcat, and he, as he prefers larger scale kits, is that the Hellcat that was featured on the Airfix program the other day? Is the Airfix Hellcat? Was that a Hellcat? Yeah, when he, when he says larger scale, I think I think he means smaller scale. Uh, no, yeah, like, uh, yeah, he means bigger small, kit. Smaller scale is a bigger kit, and larger scale is a smaller kit. So I think he means smaller scale. Because I was going to say that new Airfix 124 scale Hellcat looks kind of mint if you don't mind waiting for a bit. Mm. If you like, if you like your big kits. <laughs> <coughs> or it's do it's May, isn't it? May at that <coughs> Yeah, James. Uh, or if you do like the big kits, the bigger kits, the physically bigger ones, uh, try the Oshkosh. I've uh, done a video on that. It's a lovely build. Uh, nice, easy, simple, go together quite quickly. Ooh, in fact, yeah, maybe maybe the Oshkosh, when you mind you, says he's halfway through the pants, so she's got another three or four months to go yet. <laughs> another six months to go yet. So, yeah, something like that. If you, if the um, if the uh, Hellcat isn't out by the time you finish the uh, Panzer that Oshkosh was like it'd be a nice sort of couple of week build that if you've got the time to spend on it and then go for the hell I, I said that Hellcat looked mint yeah uh, uh, and you yeah. know it's a brand new tooling because it's not out yet it's due out in May so it's going to be mm. probably good quality I would suspect even though it's that weird airfix wibbly wobbly plastic that's like they've put a lot of chewing gum in the mold and squished it it's still nice uh, uh, George Gabriel says the furniture that he's building will allow him to display what he builds on the bench. Good idea. Aye. <clears throat> yes. Yeah. yeah it, it's trying to convince the wife, isn't it, that when you're walking around like it, oh, that's quite nice over there. What do you want to display cabinet for? But I don't know. I thought it might be quite nice at home to. No, no, I don't want to display cabinet. I want four of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for 30 pounds, I'll take five. <laughs> Um, George Taylor says spaghetti with bacon and peppers, garlic, cheese, bread, and a, new, a Newport 17. I need to eat all of that. Mm. And Ander Erickson says he's just seen the first episode of the TV series at Das Boat. Do you mean the original TV series or the new one? <coughs> I'm not sure they, were, they, were, new they were about remaking it, weren't they? So, whether that's a new series, I don't know. For some reason, my brain doesn't have any excitement for a new Das Boat. I'd rather watch the original <coughs> Das Boat. Yeah, I picked it up on Netflix the other day, Das Boat. Uh, for some reason, I was just flicking through, and I said, "Oh, you das boot!" Clicked on it, and it was the German subtitled version. That's the yeah. best one. Yeah, it, it is, but I just couldn't be bothered reading it. <laughs> <laughs> you just have to make sure you don't get the like one that's made into three episodes because they take loads of stuff out. You want the proper, <clears throat> however many part, five or six part series one. Yeah, yeah, I just got too lazy. I couldn't be bothered reading it anymore. So uh, sure. for some for some reason, you know, like I've got this memory of random stuff. I remember a line from Das Boat. I don't remember any other line, but there's one line where they've Dive. got... Well, they've got the guy where it's the, the guy who's reporting back for the newspaper. He's there and he's never been on the U-Boat before and he's all nervous and stressed. Um, and he's talking to, I think, the first mate, first off at the XO, and they're doing a dive test. And it's all like creaking and groaning and it's like pinging sound and stuff. And he's like, oh. And the first officer's like... The shipyard, this is an English dub, he goes, the shipyard certificate says we can go down to 90 meters, though we can go deeper. And then there's a pause, and this guy's like, and he's like, there's always a limit, of course. Eventually, the pressure is such, the skin caves in. And the guy goes, ah. 
and it's just the <laughs> crushed look on his face, and I'm like, for some reason, that line is stuck in my head. Mm. I don't yeah. know why. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, I remember that bit. Yeah, because they're all stood in the control room, aren't they? Doing a test dive. Yeah. Hmm. Pink. <laughs> they rush to <coughs> they rush to close a valve that's now leaking. Like that. uh, Joker Ninja six 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 Clan Jexters. Want to remember? Says Olaf from Holland. Ninja Jedi Master, like your channel. Welcome. Mm. Uh, uh, so so new people. Looks like <coughs> I'm watching the new series. Okay, that's the new one. Then I've not seen that. Right, uh, yeah, you'll have to tell us what side that is, that's on, so we'll have a look at that later on. Don McKenzie seems, says it seems to be a sequel to the book. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, where else? Where yeah. else are we going to see? Uh, <clears throat> that's what it is. The soundtrack is really good when you're watching Das Boat, but don't buy the soundtrack on a CD because it's actually terrible. <laughs> Just to listen to is terrible. It doesn't. You can't listen to it as a piece of music. <clears throat> and Nepo uh, Nepo model making. He said he's very tempted by the Hellcat. Yeah, could be a future remodel build. Yeah, it yeah. does. I mean, it does look. <clears throat> it's like we were saying the other week, weren't we? About how at Airfix uh, they're trying to pull themselves back out of bad times now with new management and stuff, and they're, they're releasing these new tool kits, and that they're, they're they're starting. They're making the the slow process of starting to compete with some of the you know the big boy companies. Uh, and this Hellcat, I've seen bits and bobs about it, and it does look fantastic. Because I know you did the Tiffy, didn't you? And that was that was reasonably yeah, new. Yeah, that was nice. That was, a, that was a new tool. Yeah, it was good. Went to went, went together well, and I probably think the Hellcat will go along the same sort of lines, the same build process. Um, from what I saw on the TV, it looks like the the uh, building instructions are all the same. They're coming out booklets, so yeah, it, it'll go together well. Yeah. And don't forget that Tiffy is what four years ago, five years ago. So they'll have yeah. learned a lot by now. They're only going to get better as time goes. One would hope they're only going to get better as time goes. <coughs> yeah, I, I mean, watching you do that, Tiffy, I was like, oh, you know what? I could, I could, yeah. When you're putting a little ammunition and stuff into the wing, I mean, you can see the wing struts, and I'm like, oh, that's really good with the yeah. green. Yeah, oh. they, they, apparently, they apparently say about that kit that it can be be built. And left in any stage that the builder require uh, wishes because it's it's a complete build. Um, so if you were, for instance, wanted to display it part built in a museum, uh, you could show the airframe and things like that. So yeah, you, could, you could kind of half build it and then, mm. then do a <laughs> diorama. And you, I, I never thought of that, but yes, I suppose you could half build it and it would all look realistic because that's what it would actually look like. Yeah. 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 Unfortunately, unfortunately, it's like some of the trumpeter kits. A lot of detail goes into it that you can never ever see again. Hmm. Mm. Um, Michael Jackman does make a comment about Das Boat, but it's a major spoiler for the three people in the world that haven't actually seen the original Das Boat, so I'm not going to read it out. <laughs> Spoilers. I, 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 I haven't seen the original one, and I've read the comment. Oh, he's just ruined it now, then. He's just ruined for you. <laughs> Michael Jackman, you bad man. Shame, shame. <laughs> You shouldn't spoil 25, 30 year old series. I did see a, a thing once where there was a guy um, who they were showing, it was, I think he'd bought it or he'd found it. It was the, they built a few miniatures of the U boat for the series. This is back in 83, 84, remember. <coughs> uh, and they had like a full size conning tower for the men to be thrown around him. But they also built like various scales, but one of them was like about, it must have been about 15 feet long. And it was like one fourth scale or one six scale just for some shots in tanks it was amazing just like the top half up to the water line it was amazing dead simple not complicated but it was more like for off the distance silhouette shots uh, phil lewis says it's a bit late in the day for me to eat but a nice cup of tea and a tamia triceratops diorama mm. and then colin at professor 67's workshop says a bit early to eat <laughs> on the bench mad max truck honda car uh honda cbr sorry and uh sergeant bones's ferrari f1 car I have to ask Phil Lewis if that's the tricky triceratops. Is I can't remember where it was mentioned, but at some point in the last few weeks, somebody mentioned a tricky triceratops, and we didn't find out why it was tricky. Ah. I don't think. Uh, Michael Jackman says, funny, when I worked for Airfix in the 70s, they had about 500 kits in the catalogue. Now they've only got about 50. Yeah, the previous management threw away a lot of the old moulds. Yeah. For no reason at all to save money. To s they just scrapped them. Yeah, although that could be quite a good thing for Airfix. Uh, Granted that so many you know, nostalgia kits have gone, but to pair down to what fifty kits that they could con concentrate on, mm. and hopefully make better and improve. That could be a 
Yeah, it could be a good thing. It's uh, it's kind of a balance, though, isn't it? Because it means that right now, um, you've got your likes of your trumpeters and your tomatoes and your you know your your top scratch kind of kits that they're trying to compete with. Um, I think they can do it. Looking at some of their new releases, but of course, that's it's almost like they're starting from scratch. It takes a year or two to get to the point of having a kit released. So, and the only reason this Hellcat is out is because I think somebody said last week it was kind of half a half done project on a shelf and they obviously will quit will make that so the turnaround time for a new kit is slow and the problem is they've got a small number of like new toolings which kind of compete with the big boys and then a small number of really old not very good molds that aren't really very good at all by today's standard and they're in a really difficult position because they've got to compete well enough with the good quality modern stuff to give them the revenue and the time to make good quality modern stuff, but they're depending on this really small cache of sometimes really bad molds because the previous management threw a lot of them away. It's stupid. Mm. Sure. Sounds like a British company to me. <laughs> yeah. oh, this is the, the, same com the same country that made the Allegro. <laughs> Did I say more? Mm. Uh, right, what are we, uh, I think it's about time. Well, why not? Why not go across to see what's in store? Oh yes, Shall we yeah, do? I'll be, I've been waiting for this. Yes, uh, are you doing the blurb, Ted? Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, I'll do that. Yeah, it's my turn for what's in store, and it wasn't till about uh, half past seven when I was having my tea and some. Uh, we we had a quick text between us, and somebody said, "Ted, it's your turn for what's in store." Oh. There was a word. There was a word that was said. There was Oops. a word. Yeah. Oops. Uh, yeah. Ted actually swore. Uh, yeah. I'd forgot all about it. it was by turn. And I haven't even thought about it. Uh, but I did uh, dash to the computer, had a look through all the e-model catalogue and came up with a bit of a theme tonight. Uh, yeah. It's, so it's a bit of a tenuous theme. I'm following along in uh, Chris's footsteps here. And my, yeah. my job is complete, yeah. I think. <laughs> Yeah, it would really be a tenuous link. Maybe. Can, can I can I try Foxy's it, click and rotate thing? Can I can I try that? Yeah, you can week? do it, John. Yeah, can I try? It? Is it is it that way? Yeah, but you is have to it? explain why you're doing it. Yeah, well, no, you do, you do it first and then you carry on. But yeah, it's that way, isn't it? Is that, uh, that yeah, way? That's right. That was right. Yeah. It feels the wrong way, but because you can't go that way, because oh, because yeah. that'd be weird. No, right. Um, we're doing as ever. Uh, Ted's got a theme which we don't know about yet he hasn't shown us any of the products yet so we, we'll be guessing along with you quietly and putting it in chat only at the end um the, the five or six products that ted's chosen all link together in some ingenious way uh so once he's finished and all of them have been shown and ted's back on camera and says go that's your cue to put in the chat what the theme is. Whoever gets it wins. It's a big sticker, isn't it? We give away for this, don't we? Uh, it's a double sticker. Yeah. It's a big, uh, no, it's a big sticker for the. Yeah, it's a big sticker. A big sticker. Yeah. You can win a big mystery sticker. Not one of them. But, not yeah. a mystery sticker, obviously, but a mystery. It's not, not a mystery. It's, it's, it's one of them. But it's a Mr. E sticker. <clears throat> um, if you get it right, obviously. If you're the first person to get it right. Now, to get it right, you've got to be the first person. And you've got to be the first person that YouTube get, not the first person that you see on your chat because chat works in a different way. You put it into your computer, and instantly it's there on your chat. But YouTube haven't got it yet. And so 20 people have put it in at the same time. YouTube get them all, and then they ship them all back out to us. So it'll be on our chat, which you'll be able to see if you watch back the video, like, you know, when, it, when it's all got live chat on it and things. So there's no underhanded, we don't like you, we're not going to give you a sticker. If you're the first person to get the correct answer, you'll win a sticker. It's as easy as that. But to be in with a chance of winning, you have to put in the answer as soon as Ted says, go. Now, if your video's been dragging a little bit and you paused it and gone and made a cuppa or anything else, you won't be watching live. So what, what I'm saying now, I might have said two or three minutes ago. So in two or three minutes, when you hear this, make sure you do the click and refresh. It's that way, it's that way, isn't it? You go, click, click, click the thing and drag it that way to make sure you're all the way live. Or there's a little thing that says live that you can probably click on and it will get you there straight away. Because you don't want to be watching this two minutes ago. Because then you won't know that I've said it yet. Yeah. 
Yeah, let's just that get all the words. That was all the words. <laughs> I've been practicing. I haven't been practicing. <laughs> <laughs> now, now it is 10 o'clock, so... We, uh... well, you've got to make it stretch it out because That's... the two minutes and the things that people haven't seen it, they've only just seen it, so they've just missed that bit. The funny thing was, uh, there was something I had to urgently say while you were doing that, and I actually forgot what it was. And I, oh, I must mention, and it's gone. Just completely gone. No idea. <laughs> make note. Well done. So, um, and, and without further ado, Mr. Tedward Skipper McTedson. Tedson. Tedson.emorals.co.uk. So, remember, though, if you know, if you could see what the link is, before I've said go, don't put it in chat because somebody might pinch the idea off you. Yep. Yeah, it's not until I've said go that it's your chance to win. Oh, I remember what it was. I remember what it was. <laughs> Hang on, stop. Um, um, Osric 9000 says, annual bonus this week. If I, I will buy at least one item from what's in store this week. How many items have we got, Ted? Uh, we, I have, I don't have to count them. I have one, two, six. Six items. Well, Rick, pick a number between one and six. <laughs> if you, if you don't have to, but if you want to, pick a number and you have to commit to that one. That's the, that's the fun way of doing it. You, you, there's no good there you when you pick a number. You don't, you don't want to just decline if you don't want to do it, but if you want to. You don't want to buy the one you want. You want to buy the one that just random chance makes you buy. Yeah, Ted, Ted when he's not, when he, when he says, just make that the most expensive. Yeah, we'll sort, we'll sort them out, yeah. yeah. Right, yeah. right. right. I, 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 should, I should do a screen share. Uh, okay. Yeah, I shall attempt uh, to do a screen share. We need. Don't forget to look it on you, Tedward. Yeah, right. Mark, Mark oh, it has not... to be number three because that's <laughs> a traditional number. Everyone buys number three. Yeah. Right, that's right. not that brave. <laughs> I shall share my intention. Barkley says, "Oh God, it's going to be the rail gun." <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, my uh, tenuous link this week begins with the Tamiya 135th British M10 11C or the Achilles. I, I thought for a minute you were going to say what the link was then. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Even, even I've forgotten what the link is now. I think the link is particles. <laughs> uh, this is the tank destroyer, the Achilles. Uh, it's actually new in stock in e models. Um, I haven't seen this before, I haven't seen uh, many people building it. Uh, but yeah, it's British. Um, nice little subject, um, an unusual subject as well. Uh, bags of um opportunities for weathering. This picture of the I think that's bo the bit of box art order. Is this pre order Ted or is it actually yeah, it's in stock. Yeah. Uh, Jamie says he wants no, it. Oh, no, it says due soon, pre order. All right. Yeah. Uh what is it to me Achilles? I shall have a look while you're doing your, your talky talky. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I want to do this yeah. So, yeah, as I was saying, um for my next e models build, I would like to build something from the Allies. Uh, I would like to build something 135th as well. Is it, sorry, Ted, is it 35366? 35366. Three, yeah. three, six, six. Apparently it's due for release on December the 31st, 2018. Mm. <laughs> That's okay. what I found out, so I guess it's been delayed a bit. <clears throat> so Yeah, so it's been, it's obviously a new release from Tamiya then, so it's due soon. Uh, it's uh, available pre-order though, so if you need, if you want to pre-order it, uh, just you can always order it now as a pre-order, uh, and then it's guaranteed you'll get it when it comes out then. Uh, yeah. Owner says mid-April. Yeah, so but you said the the guys at e-models are I think yeah they're the big one of the biggest e, e to me stockists in the UK. Uh, the biggest. The Love biggest to me stockist. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, anything anything concerning to me these guys will have it. There's Can a lot I, of that's a question though. Does it seem sensible to name your your vehicle or your thing after someone who is historically known as having a massive weak spot? That destroys him instantly. No, it's only a very, very tiny weak spot. Yeah, but it was still a, like hit me here and I will die on the spot. Hmm. It's a, it seems a bit of a strange name. It's like yeah, but it's mostly it's like naming your ship the USS Pyrrhic Victory or something. It's just not. I don't know. Good, good point. Yeah, but there's lots of reading on there. Uh, lower hull suspension, wheel tracks uh, carried over from their claim to be a 135th model. Uh, do sprocket wheel parts, marking options, uh, different marking options, interior features, shells, ra shell racks, and multi part 17 pounder gun breech, etc. etc. Lots of detail. Looks like all the usual, um, to me, uh, details have gone into that. So, uh, Don Donald Mars, what's the conversion rate from euros to dollars? Um, all the prices on the models website are in pounds. Mm. 
Yeah, is is there not an option in there to? Um... There may there may be, uh, but if you're ever not sure, just open a Google tab and type whatever currency two dollars, and it'll give you a link for Google Convert, and you can just put them in the mountain. Yeah, I always just type in like dollars to pounds, and it gives me a thing to fill in, or pounds to dollars, or pounds to euros. I could just ask, you could just ask Siri. Hi Siri. Oh, hang on, my phone's just. I would probably guess right now thirty-five pounds is about. Forty-five to fifty dollars, probably off the top. Uh, of my head. Yeah, Stephen Hill Harris is one dollar thirteen, but I think that's probably per pound rather than the thirty-five pound. I mean, if I type in pounds to dollars on Google, it gives me a thing to fill in. So it's thirty-five pounds is forty-six dollars right now. Mm. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. type in pounds to dollars on Google, and it'll give you a thing to fill in. Ah, oh, that's that one. Anyway, anyway that's a uh, to me a uh, one thirty-five Achilles. I like that. That looks like Warhammerable. That does. <laughs> Well, yeah, I could have right. some Warhammer conversion going on. Very right. Sherman in its running gear. I have to say that. Uh, yeah, it, yeah, it is a bit. It's probably yeah, probably all based on the same uh, running gear. Right, we'll go across now. So the next one is the Hasegawa. Uh, it's a shiny car. Uh, the Hasegawa One Twenty Four Subaru Legacy. Mm. Uh, the RS Nineteen Ninety Three New Zealand Rally winner. Mm. Mm. The good so, thing with that is you could pair that with the Tamiya 124th Subaru pit stop crew. Yeah. There is a there's a Tamiya rally pit crew, and they have a lot of Subaru markings and decals on them. So you could combine uh, that and have a dower armor of that up in the pit crew. Yeah, uh, I know that um, rally cars are quite popular. Uh, uh, the Subaru, uh, is, that the, is that the Scooby? Is that yeah, the yeah, Scooby, Subaru, yeah, Subarus are Scoobies, yeah. Scooby yeah. Lights. Yeah, uh, no more. Uh, there's two decal options on that. There's a New Zealand Rally winner, uh, Colin McRae, and there's a two de course, a fifth grade yeah. car. Once again, Colin McRae, yeah. uh, a really fast car. So, yeah, that's the uh, Hasegawa <coughs> Super Legacy. Just before we do the next one, two things we forgot to mention. First of all, um, don't forget, of course, we don't know how many of these are in stock. Mm -hmm. They might have one, they might have 50. So, if any of these tickle your fancy, don't sit around thinking slap about it. it in your basket. Yeah, slap it in your basket because don't forget it's not yours until you've paid. Even if it's in your basket, it's not yours till you've put down the money on the counter. So if you fancy something, open another tab and get it in the basket and buy it right away. Because if they've got two in stock and you sit and wait to the end of the show until other people have bought it, you're knackered. And to another thing, uh, Anders says, What will happen with prices after Brexit? We don't even know what's happening with Brexit, so no. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, so, so yeah, slap it in the basket. It's not yours to you check it out. Mm. So that's the Hasegawa uh, Subaru Legacy. Uh, the next one is uh, we go over to Tamiya. Um, and I think Chris did some along those pliers last week, didn't he? Um, Similar, yeah. Yeah, these are the Tamiya non scratch long, uh, long nose pliers. Um, non scratch, I would think. They would be it's more than suitable for photo etch, um, bending photo etch like that. Uh, I, I'm guessing they look to me like they are flat, Got like a squishy bit in the in the jaws. Yeah. yeah. So uh, either uh, the the card that it's on the back uh, that's on the back of it looks like it's uh, sort of being used for uh, RC models. But yeah. does it say the description? Because I would say that's probably for things like. Photo etch and clear parts maybe will be useful. Yeah, long nose pliers featuring plastic grips placed over the top of serrated teeth to protect objects from scratches. Ah, right, that's why. Okay, no, just anything then, anything you want. Yeah, so they yeah they do have serrations, but they have protective coating on them. Yeah. Two step adjustment jaw, perfect for removal and attachment of RC parts. That's what they're for. Then I should have like nylon them. fittings and little covers and things like that. Yeah. So, yeah. so that's yeah. Uh, Always something handy to have in the toolbox for those parts. I think you could use it for photo etch as well. Bending photo etch. That's a, that's how I started before I had my uh, photo etch benders. Mark Dale um, says he picked number three in our lineup again tonight, and he's yet again he has to. He says um, he says I picked three again and have to yet again buy something I can't build because it's the pliers. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> need well, to change tactics next week. He well, says. Well, well, we'll let you change your number if you want. Yeah, you're allowed to change your mind. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think yeah. if you don't want three, you should go for six. Mm. Which yeah. one for Dora? I can't remember now. 
Yeah. So yeah. So twenty one fifty nine. Something for the toolbox. Something that will come in handy for just that moment that you need them. Yep. Yeah. You don't know when you're going to need them, but when you do, you'll be glad you've had them. So that's to me. Uh, non scratch long nose players. Osric is saying that the uh, the M10 is currently in the lead. Ah, right. Okay. Uh, right, we'll go over to another... Um, uh, yeah, another Ooh, military. Like yeah, this is the trumpeter German uh, Fennec. Fen they, do like their, they do like their fox names for their vehicles. They've got the Fuchs and the Fennec and other ones. Yeah, so this is the Fennec, uh, LGS German version. Uh, uh, what it is, I don't know. It looks like a scout car. Uh, I like that. That looks very aliens. I'm liking that. Yeah, I, I'd be up for one of those. Mm. Uh, nothing in the description about this. Just the Trumpeter German Fennec, uh, LGS German version, plastic model kit. So I, I guess the guys in chat will tell us more about this. Can we get? Uh, can you click on the picture for us, Ted? Give us a bigger look at it. Just so. Let's have a look at that. I'm Isn't like that what there. they used to do? The Google Street View. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but they say you don't know they're there. They're like, wait, did somebody just go back? <laughs> that, looks that looks mint. That looks mint. This, if you're doing Google Street View in them very uh, rough areas, that one looks mint. TK yeah. says, "Not that one." Fox will know. Yes, I know TK. There's a, there's a, yes. <laughs> there's, I've got the, I've got the Ravel Fuchs. Uh, APC, which is one I need to build one day, purely because I need to do it pink and make it a Hello Kitty armored car based on an internet picture. I, I, I something about the German car flash scheme that sort of uh, I quite like. It's mm. uh, quite a nice blend of colors. It looks good with a nice dusty coating of earthy colors at the mm. bottom as well. And can yeah. I just say, did, did, uh, how come the Germans have the best design vehicles uh, even today? Even their vehicles, the vehicles still look best. What have yeah. we got? Knackered old Land Rovers. Yeah, consider, consider it's NATO. We never see anything of those, do we? No, we never. Yeah. But it's like, you know, the Germans have all these funky-looking aliens versus whatever vehicles. What have we got? A lot of knackered old Defenders and some really old Bedford trucks. Oh, yeah. break, breaking news in the chat. Michael Jackman used to drive one of the Google Street View cars. Cool. God. Yeah. Uh, Andrew Leary says, uh, the Fennec is a four-wheeled armed reconnaissance vehicle produced by the German company Kraus Maffei Wegman. Dutch defense vehicle systems. So obviously the Dutch and the Germans have fantastic looking armored cars, and we get knackered old defenders. Well, uh, this one is in the armored car speed camera version. Yes, I like that. I, I love one. Yeah. Uh, probably for catching speeding tanks and things like that. High barely bush. The, the like trumpeter vehicles come with figures. I don't know if they do. Do they? Uh, I don't think they do. Hmm. Uh, anyway, that's the uh, Fennec. Uh, and the next one is the uh, now. This is something that people are always asking uh, what about uh, optivizers and things like that. This is the Lightcraft Pro, the LED headband, uh, the magnifying kit. You can see there it comes with a series of uh, a set of uh, different uh, optical um, vision aids, uh, different strengths. And you can clip them on and off, I guess. Uh, idea for close-up intricate tasks. Uh, adjustable headband, five lenses uh, with a facility for biplate magnification. Now, these are good for people like Fox and myself who wear glasses. And have got terrible eyesight. And they've got terrible eyesight. And it's I really, I, I, I'll show you mine. Oh, well, I'll show you, when we come back, I'll show you mine because mine's a million years old and it doesn't really do much, but I'll show you mine in a bit. Yeah, uh, yeah. I used to try it with a, a little uh, magnifying lens that you put in your eye, like a watch keep uh, watchmaker. And I've tried uh, these um, angle poised lamps, uh, and I never really got to them. But uh, my Optivizer type thing, very similar to this, um, but I think it's the same as Fox's actually. No, but, mine's uh, really old and crappy. Yeah, yeah but uh, really useful for yeah. getting that. Uh, this also no, I don't know if this one's got a light on it. Maybe it has. Uh, yeah, it's got a light on. It looks like it's got a light on there. Yeah. Yeah, it tells you all about Lightcraft, yep. and uh, there are other versions available on the Emotes website. If this one at forty pounds is a little bit beyond your pocket money, uh, there are some uh, other versions available uh, as well on the website. The little, the little uh, jeweler and watchmaker thing is called the Jeweler's Loop. Ah, I love right. that name, a jeweler's loop. Wow, ah, cool. So yeah, so that's the Lightcraft uh, 
Pro LED head headband. Mm. Like it. Now then, we go across to the last one of today, which we we can't have a watch in store without a Lindbergh kit. Yes, good old Lindbergh. Yay. Mm. At least it's not seven times the, the, uh, the size of the real thing. Yeah, this is the Lindbergh a one to one skeletal foot. One to one version. So yeah, it's as big as your foot. So if, if your foot is that big, what, what size foot is it? Does it say? Yeah, it, uh, uh, a foot long. <laughs> <laughs> a foot long. Hey, now Donald Watt says, "Do you ship to the United States?" Yes, we do. Yeah. Some things they can't. E models can't ship abroad, like solvents and spray cans. But there's a lot of stuff they can ship. Mm. Yeah. So this one actually comes with a display stand. Yeah. So you can impress your friends. Yeah. Stand um, for your feet. Yeah. Yeah. Stand, yeah. stand for your feet. Yeah. Well, you can make a diorama. You could put it in a boot. And uh, well, we're not <laughs> in a boot. There you go. Done. This, this, this is a. Uh, I'm going to say it's a right foot. Would you say it's a right foot? Uh, I would hope so. Uh, so, what if you get? Uh, can you get a left foot, or do you have the option in the kit? Zadster says this is like a hachette part work, making the human body one week at a time. <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah. I think Chris had the half a head last week, didn't he? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I give someone a foot and they'll take a yard, says Sergeant Bones. Um, <clears throat> it's for waking up the missus in the morning, says Throwaway Modeler. Yeah. Uh, I did just leave it. Do you bury it in the garden? Well, just prior to moving house, do you bury it in the garden? Mm. Yeah. So, That'd be good. Yeah. So, yeah. So, a display stand included. Ten plus years. Michael Jackman says, oh, come on, Ted. I thought you were sensible. No, he hangs around with us too much. <laughs> yeah. Ted, yeah. Ted, not who you think is, you don't know this, but Ted swears like a Marine. Oh, yeah. You, like, if you, I was shocked. Line, Ted swears like a Marine. Yeah. yeah. I swear, swear like my dad used to do. As soon as that little live light goes off, it's just, yeah. yeah. There's all kinds of words that even we don't know what they are. Yeah. What, what happens is, during the course of the live stream, it all builds up inside. <laughs> And as soon as the as soon as the live has gone off, it all comes out. So these guys get it yeah, every week at the end of the show. They get it. I, I have to take my earpiece out because otherwise, I'd, you know, yeah, no. I just I just go to counselling every week to get it all out. <laughs> 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 yeah. uh, so there we are. That's a Lindbergh one one skeletal foot uh, plastic model kit. So if, don't forget if you do if you want it, slap it in your basket. Hey, can yeah. you run through a all again? Because I I forgot about the first couple. Yes. Right. The I want to see if it fits into what I think it might be. Yeah, you probably, you probably get it now. That uh, The first one was the uh, Tamiya Achilles. Yeah, right. Oh, well, $35.99. The second one was the Hasegawa Subaru Legacy, RS 1993. Uh, the third one uh, was the Tamiya uh, Long Nose Players. Yeah, is it is it ringing any bells yet? Is it yeah, I think I've got it. And if I'm right, I, I'm I'm very proud, Ted. I know what it is, but I don't know what exact wording uh, you would want to use. Uh, this is the Trumpeter 135th German Fennec. Uh, this is the Lightcraft Pro LED headband uh, magnifying kit. And the final one is the Lindbergh foot. So to get right, right. Are you thinking? Are you all thinking? So I'll stop sharing. I'll find out where we're at. I'll get the chat. I'll unlock it from you as well, Ted. And I'll look it for me, and I'll say, go. Sergeant yeah. Barrett says, Dunkle Gelb. Mm. Uh, Anders says, theme, I haven't got a clue. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. I'll let you choose, Ted, because you know the exact wording of whatever yeah, you, you know, know what you're aiming for. Anything close to it will do. <laughs> Human anatomy, says Phil East. Yeah, parts of the body. Yeah, Human anatomy will do. I, yeah, Phil East was the first one. The first one part, yeah, body parts. Yeah, everyone's got body parts now. Everybody's got it. <laughs> nice, easy one. Yeah, so, yeah, we have neck, uh, leg, uh, leg, legacy, leg, leg, yeah, Achilles. Yeah. long nose players, uh, etc. Achille, Achilles. Yeah, so we got that. Yeah, so, well done. So, yeah, um, yep, just don't forget, send us your um, name and address to Ted, Ted at emodels, emodels.co. UK, mm. and we'll get the stickers out to you hopefully within the next week or so because it's coming up to the end of the month yeah. and we can get them all out. So, yep. well done, well done, well done, oh, well done, everybody else. For, uh, yeah, I didn't, everybody, everybody else put body parts, body parts, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. 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 Donald Mott says head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees and toes, knees and toes. Uh, 
So um, your your turn next week then, Fox. Oh, man. You've got, um, a nice uh, continuing. Yeah, Again, slightly cryptic. Yeah. And but, but remember, Fox, you've got all week to think about it. I well, you, you had all week to think of yours because we told you last week when I did mine that it's your turn next week. Yeah, then I promise. I know. I promise. <laughs> and then I had twenty minutes to think about it. Yeah. So I didn't. I don't think I did too bad for twenty minutes. Fortunately, yeah, everything was there when I thought of it. So yeah. he says, Chris, what have you done to Ted? <laughs> yeah, broken him. Michael Jackman says, "Funny, I pressed before go. Hang on, before go again. Yet came second. It's it's when you press go, it then has to get to YouTube. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, yeah Philip might have pressed it before go as well, but he timed it just right. Yeah, it depends how fast your broadband is, that kind of thing. Yeah, it's it's he we the the chat we see, and that when you watch this back, you'll see the chat down the side. YouTube sits there, and all the answers come in, and that's the order they're displaying. Yeah. So." Uh, uh, Donald Donald says, yeah, first time here. I really enjoyed it, guys. Don't go yet. We're, we're still here. Still go, but now you're in. You can never leave. Yeah, there's no escape for yours. It's over, Tommy. Yeah. Well, and Anders says, Chris, we all know Ted needs a reminder mail now and then. So should I, should I send him a reminder every couple of days? Remind me to send me a mail to myself. And I'll do it. Yeah. Uh, they just told me at work, oh, Ted, we'll give you another. We'll give you an email account. I've already got about five. Another one. So yeah. So yeah. So, yeah. I, I, Wait, if they're, they're going to e- if they're going to email you with things you need to do, does that mean you're going to get a desk and a computer? Yeah, uh, yeah. That's a fortunate part. About it. I'm trying to avoid computers. I'm trying to have avoid having to log in because there's always you get the situation where the person is sat across from you or an arm's length away, and he says, "Ted, I've sent you an email. Just tell me." Just to, tell, just to tell me. I don't need to send me an email. And you're just there. Just use yeah. your mouth to make the words. Use your words. I got a message from my wife downstairs while during the uh, the watching store saying, is there a theme to do with the body? And this was like halfway through. So I, 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 said, I didn't know. You didn't tell us. So I didn't know. Uh, she said, it's the first, the only time I've guessed one correctly. That's if it's right. <laughs> yeah, that means she wins a stick now. <laughs> she could have put in chat. She could have won. She's eligible. Huh? Yeah, yeah, and it would have been cheap on postage for the sticker as well. So. Yeah, just take it downstairs. <laughs> I just go, there you go, love. <laughs> yeah, that's handy. Yeah, so good. Uh, and, and what... as says, Donald, you can count on the count on it. This show is addictive. <laughs> yeah, you'll never escape. Yeah, the, the thing with the thing we find because we do get obviously feedback from people that watch this, and the thing we find most people say is that they just have this on in the background where they say working at the bench or doing something else. And I do that a lot with podcasts and live streams. You just have it on in the background. You don't need to actually watch us. Yeah. Even though we are very pretty. You... Yeah. It's not as though we're demonstrating anything. So you don't have to constantly watch the screen. You could just hear us going on in the background. And if that drives you insane, you could just turn the volume off and just watch. Well, the thing <laughs> is, it's not as though we actually normally talk about model making. Because let's be honest, Donald, 99% of the of shows in the past before this one, we've maybe answered one question about model making. The rest of it's been talking about food. Yeah, oh yeah, just general. Yeah, this it's is cool. the least model making, model making program in the world. Yeah, Donald, Donald, what we say is it's like a group of guys just gone down the pub for the evening and we just talk about whatever comes up. So, yeah, so that's, so that's what it's all about. Just uh, group- Donald said, Yes, I'm hooked and I love Fox's hat. <laughs> I got that from Matalan about seven years ago for a fiver. It's the only hat of mine that fits and has survived. Uh, hats, hats, helmets, fancy dress does all of fe- does all feature in these uh, live streams at some time. Um, the hat is required because there's a hairline up there, but it's rapidly going that way. Uh, and seventies TV is a very good theme as well. Yep. Uh, and Sally James. Mm-hmm. Uh, Throwaway modeler says I'm working on the bench. I am uh, as well right now. One oh nine G. Cool. Yeah, you know, a lot of people do say they just have us on in the background while they're working and doing mm. stuff. Not always modeling. Sometimes they're just you know whatever. But eating their tea or something, but they have us on in the background. But I do the same thing when I'm, say, playing Elite Dangerous. I'll have a big playlist of either podcasts or live streams where I don't need to watch it, but I can listen to it and I can be entertained by the words and the speakage. Uh, Andrew Leary says uh, or asks after battling with Revell airplane kits, silly me, uh, what manufacturer would you recommend for a beginner? Ooh. That's, uh, how long is the piece of string? really in it what do you want to build is it airplane kits or is you anything else or yeah 
I, I would say, not being a big, I mean, people correct me if I'm wrong, but just from my experience, and I'm not experiencing airplanes that much, but I would say aircraft wise, to, if you're a beginner, Tamiya or Hasegawa, or believe it or not, if you can get them, it's kind of hard to get in the UK. Fine molds do a lot of aircraft, World War II aircraft. Mm. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, I, I, tell me if I'm wrong, but my understanding will be Tamir and Hasegawa are probably two of the better ones. I could be wrong. I, I tell you what, Andrew, uh, what you could build Edward, is... Edward, I forgot Edward, yeah. Uh, if you just want to build so it's silly, you could do uh, any of the tomb tank kits uh, or aircraft, do aircraft as well, don't they? Mm. Um, just for a bit of fun, um, sort mm. of break your uh, mojo or things like that. Yeah, just mm. for a bit of fun. 10 minutes uh, or a weekend build and you've got them done. Or, well, again, it depends on what she wants to get involved. Wingnut. Yeah. If you like yeah. biplanes, wingnut wings. If you want to keep it serious, go to wingnut wings or anything yeah. like that. Yeah. Uh, he says, I've done a number of Tamiya tanks, so we'll try one of the air kits next time. Hmm. Uh, Mark Dale says, I've got to stop watching you lot as I've had to buy another useless model making bit of kit <laughs> to not be out of your <laughs> model because I don't have any. So <laughs> next week when Fox does his what's in store, we'll make sure that the third thing is a nice kit for you to buy. Yeah. yeah. That was and, a we'll plan that. I'll remind him about it at the time as well. So. I'll drop you a hint. It's got four letters and it begins with D and it ends in overdraft. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the the thing is as well, just to think of the advantage, you've got all the tools to build it now, so you just need yeah. a kit. I love the fact he's, he's committed to pick the third one. <laughs> and even if it's something he doesn't want, I'm going to buy it anyway. Uh, uh, so next uh, one, throwaway Modeler says, Fire Molds are a real beauty to build. Got the ME 323. They are, they are hard to get hold of. Um, I would say, because Fire Molds, a lot of people know Fire Molds because they, they used to make Star Wars kits. Uh, but not everybody realised that they do make a lot of aircraft and other things as well, and they are really, really nice kits. Um, it might be worth hitting up the guys at eModels if you fancy some and saying, listen, can you get hold of some 5 Molds kits? Because they've had 5 Molds stuff in stock before. So uh, I, I don't think it's widely distributed outside sort of Japan and Asian territories, but it's worth asking if you can get hold of any if you, any of them tickle your fancy, because they are 5 Molds kits are very, very nice. Uh, Stephen Rolfe's got to go. He says, gents, it's been emotional. Got to go. Night all. Night, Good night. Thank you. Coming in. See you next week. Uh, um, Mr. Les Model Making says an Edward Weekend Edition kit that comes without any photo etch or resin. It's just a base plastic kit. Uh, yeah, they're, they're supposed to be quite nice. Um, I love the way, like, a quick. Got, sorry. I was, I was going to say, I love the way sorry, for Edward, a weekend kit, a quick build kit is like as complex as everybody else's kits. They just don't put photo etch and resin in it. Yeah, that's yeah, a quick weekend kit. <laughs> <laughs> or the the I mean the Edward dual combo that I did there is not a complicated kit. It took me ages, but so you can build one of those. You don't have to build them both. Get pick up the dual combo and just build one of them. That won't take very long. And remember, of course, building a kit is a lot faster when you're not filming the damn thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, right, Michael Jackman's uh, probably to do with Fox because he says about Space 1999. Um, he's watched Space 1999 Dragon's Domain again yesterday. One of the best episodes. Can't understand why they don't salvage the ships after they kill the monster. I've not. Oh, I've got to try remember which about. episode that was now. Um, it's saying about a monster and dragons. Oh, dragons Domain. Oh, I can't remember which one that is, but there's probably a very good reason. That it, uh, it's probably just the reasons that they forgot to write that bit in. <laughs> they probably went back later. After yeah, the the Andrew Leary says, question, what's good on telly? Ooh. Stuff. <laughs> yeah. Uh, do you mean good new stuff or good old stuff? Because I've got all kinds of series I'd say to watch. Yeah, that's an advantage of uh, Netflix and things. Hmm. Oh. Hello. Ted's Ted. muted himself. He's got. He's going to go somewhere. We'll, we'll, Ted will be back momentarily. I think there was some background conversation going on. Maybe it's, it's <laughs> animal was getting told off. I think. Um, yeah, there's lots of series I watch. If you if you mean mod, if you do, if you don't mean current series, I I love things like Bones House. Uh, if you meet, uh, what else do I watch? All kinds of stuff. Stargate, Stargate SG One. There's ten seasons of it. There's two hundred, three hundred episodes. Go and watch some Stargate SG One. Buy the box set. Watch them all. Do it now. Yeah. Doing that while you're watching this, open a new tab, get on Amazon, all 10 seasons, go and buy it and watch it. There's probably right, like 100 that's... episodes of us. You could watch us. That's true. Yeah, yeah. yeah there's about two years worth of streams uh, now. Yeah, you yeah. could watch, catch up. Wasn't yeah. Animal getting told off there, Ted? 
you, you could, yeah, yeah, uh, I think the cats are fighting. <laughs> Yeah, you can have uh, two years worth of practicing. Well, maybe twelve months practicing what's in store, couldn't you? Mm. Yeah. Uh, Festa Six Seven Workshop says, "Lol, model making guru." I'm watching that. Yes, I know you are. It's the best thing in the world. Uh, Stargate SG One, all of, all of it. Just... Yeah, I can't believe yeah. you haven't seen it before. Yeah. Jamie Bowen says, "Hello, Fox's mum." Uh, Ostrich says, says he bought... he's watching." Oh, oh, Osric says he bought the Fennec. Uh, yeah. Good. Yeah. See the girl. Yeah. We'll get an, an email from Pete, mate, tomorrow saying, oh, it's sold. Yeah. It's sold on them. Yeah. Uh, uh, Storm says anything from Jerry Anderson. Yeah. Uh, David says, Fox, thoughts on uh, Void Raven Bomber? I don't yes, know I'm just looking at to remind myself which one it is. Um, <laughs> my thought would be yes. Absolutely. <laughs> I can't tell you about it as if if it was to play in game because I don't I don't know anything about Eldar, but absolutely if you I get it, that looks mint. <laughs> uh, Anderson, yeah. you know, some episodes of LOLO. So, yeah, uh, <laughs> I, was, I was pissing by it. I, dip in. <laughs> <sighs> I wish I'd say this only once. Yes, I could recommend something else, but it, I just mentioned SG One, and that's all that's worth watching. Indeed. Um, has anyone emailed us any questions we can ask for stickers and stuff? Ooh, let me check him. Yeah, I've, got I've got a question for some stickers. If connect to uh, tonight's what's in store, by we better do them because it's kind of half ten. I was just yeah. thinking we're getting on there, and and we've got a thing to give away as well. Are we? you saying getting on? I'm not getting on. I'm only you've been getting 21. on twenty-one, yeah. maybe uh, twenty-one no. twice in a bit. Nineteen. A bit. God, uh, you tell them getting old because when you bend down, you go, oh, you make noises, don't you? Yeah, whenever you stand up out your chair, you have to make noises now as well. Yeah, Ted, you know what? You know, is it? Have you? I, I think I'm getting old because I've got to that point where I think when I sit down, I'm actually settling, not sitting. Mm, I think yeah. I think that means I'm getting old. Uh, yeah, and is is getting old? Is is a sign of getting older where once you've been out and as soon as you get in, you have to put the kettle on. Oh, put the kettle on. Oh, get, oh, yeah, get a coffee going. Get yeah. a coffee going. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like me. I walk to the corner shop and just walk into the corner store. My back's like, oh, God, I'm so unfit. I must be getting old. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah Throwaway got... modeler says, I'm 20 and I do that. <laughs> Settle and not sit. Yeah. Whatever you go. Oh, cup of tea. Yeah. No, no, coffee. Yeah. Cup of tea. Cup of tea, love. Yeah. Should I put a kettle on? Yeah, thanks. Two, two, two sugars. Thank you. Oh. oh yeah anyway it's sticker time sticker time mm. oh, we do with the uh, colin tamsley supports a question in chat but uh, if it's one for the sticker giveaway call you to mail us with the question and the answer the answer is always useful because yeah. don't forget if we use your question and answer then we'll send you a sticker so if you want an absolute guaranteed free sticker send us a question and answer uh what are we doing oh yes so good stickers Oh, twin, twin twin so you get the big sticker and the small sticker. I guess we're doing twin, case, twin sticker giveaways. Uh, yeah, instead of one each, one of each, we're sending the two now. Uh, right, so I'll, I, I've got a question. Well, we're not sending you a sticker, Ted. Uh, uh, you yeah, you one of them stickers you've got. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> yeah if I do the sticker, if I do the question, um, Chris can send me the sticker. Well, you, you've already used the sticker tonight already. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll hold that one in reserve. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I've just got to say this because the chat's kind of got out of sync with itself. Uh, <laughs> Jamie Bone says, "I don't know his real name, but the guy who plays Indiana Jones is dad." Donald Mott says, "What's the proper color gray for warships?" And Andrew Leary says, "Sean Connery." <laughs> so Sean Connery is the proper gray color for warships. What's the right color? I bet I'm Sean Connery. I think. Good night, sir. Your hole. Uh, Donald Mott, uh, life color. Do a color set or uh, warships. So I can have a look at that on on the e bottles. I think Mick do one as well now. I'm sure I saw one the other day. Mick I do think, a call. I think going forward, I've just decided to like you know I put silly paint names up when I reference the Games Workshop paint. I think one of the greys is going to have to be renamed to Sean Connery. <laughs> <laughs> to this, we're going to use such and such grey, Sean Connery. Sean oh, Connery. <laughs> yeah, we'll use that one. Uh, right. So, remember question. to refresh and drag people. Or the, other way, the other way, you did it the wrong way. Refresh and drag. Is that because I took your thunder this earlier? It's because you confused me now. 
<laughs> yeah. This could end up a silly pronunciation as well. So oh, I well, is it all German yeah, and Dutch and stuff? We all like that as well, don't we? That's so. already answered and said Betty's Hot Pot. Uh, right, the question for tonight, double sticker win is, um, earlier I showed you the uh, Lundberg set of the skeletal foot, the, the foot. Um, now then, it's got five toes on it. What are the name of the five toes? The Latin name or whatever. What's the name for five toes? Cool. Uh, wait, I don't even understand the question. Oh. You, mean, you mean like... Fingers have got names, like little finger and thumb and stuff. Your long bones are, your long bones are the metatarsals. So ah, okay. what are five toes called? Dancing phalanges. <laughs> sorry, that's a bones quote, sorry. <laughs> phalanges. <laughs> Keep saying little piggies. <laughs> well, why don't toes have names like index finger and, you know, index toe? Index toe. We well, have a big toe, toe, don't you? And then you have the other. Ring toe and the other ones. A little toe. You've got a little... And the other three. Uh, we've got so far big index, middle, fourth, little, uh, dilacerant, eight Paul, false chronotype phalanges, one letter at a time, and it's getting interspersed with everything. Dancing phalanges. <laughs> oh, it, uh, a load of toes, says the railway modeler. Uh, does that mean I see one then? Tarsal. I don't know. What's the answer? Yes, yeah, phalanges. Is it? I thought phalanges were just it? in hands, otherwise I wouldn't have said it. Have I just not that <laughs> Did I just completely screw that up? Well, according to Google anyway, I just said names of the toes. So, uh, uh, yeah. yeah. Well, well, nobody put phalanges, so we'll just do another one, because I messed that up, didn't I? All right, then. All right, next one. Uh, Technically, Fox won so far. I didn't know Fox won. Well, phalanges was just the hands. But Paul at the team and it did put it in eventually. <laughs> <laughs> I thought phalanges was just your fingers. Yeah, I wouldn't have said that otherwise. This next time you see Paul, give him some stickers. Uh, I'll give him a sticker, yeah. Um, Mark does say that uh, uh, hallux is the big toe, or the great toe. Second toe is the long toe, pointer toe. Third toe, middle toe. Uh, fourth toe is the ring toe. And fifth toe is the baby toe, little toe, toe, pinky toe, small toe, or tiny toe. Yeah, yeah. It's the one that went wee, wee, wee all the way home. Paul says, why do you think I was spelling it out one at a time? I don't think <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm, just gonna, I'm just drinking my water now. Shut up. Yeah, I, I, I thought you were spreading it out one at a time because you're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> With that friend, I'm drinking water. <laughs> no. <sighs> Should we just, <laughs> just uh, congratulations, Fox? Where did we send the sticker? <laughs> uh, oh, right, uh, we've got a giveaway then. Uh, so we do, do. Hang on, then we've got to think of a different question, aren't we? Has someone sent us a question yet? I yeah. must have by now. We've given them ages. Uh, uh, no, nobody's given them a question today. Let's think of a question. <laughs> uh, apparently, oh, I've got a question. I've got a question. <laughs> Everybody ready? Paul says we both spent our drinks out at the same time. You and Paul. Yes. <laughs> you and Paul. So yeah, there you go. <laughs> I've got a question then. Uh, here's a very simple one. As you all know, Ted is building a U boat. A boat in the sinking and diving and the shooting yard. That's his thing. He builds a big fat U boat. What U boat is it? Not the number, like it's not the 552, but what type of U boat? Go. Ah, uh -huh. right. Zed's has got a good question down there. Uh, what type? What type of U boat? Yes, which is the largest contiguous state of the US, Texas? That's an old bullseye joke. <laughs> Ted's U boat says Paul. Type uh, seven says throw him. Is it type seven? Ted? Yeah, yeah, that'll do. Type seven C. Yep. yep. Type seven. Yep. So throw a modeler. Well done. Type seven is correct. Yep. Yeah. Send us your name and address because uh, yeah, you're the, you know, it's, it, that's for a mug, isn't it? That's, no, that's for stickers because we have some stickers. Oh, we gave you got some stickers. Yep. So send us uh, send us an email. Uh, an email, start that again. Send us an email, ted at emodels.co.uk and say you won the uh, stickers because Fox is special. Mm. There you go. I think, I think to be honest, I think because he went to all the trouble of listing every single goddamn toe on the foot, I think we should send Mark a sticker as well. 
So, Mark, send us an email, ted at emonders.co.uk, because you put the big thing with all the toes listed. And we'll send it, you it, here as well. it, even, the, even the ring toe. Yeah, ring toe. So, yeah, Mark, send us an email as well. We'll send you a sticker as well, because, you know, hey, you did go to all the trouble of copying and pasting it. I mean, writing it out. I, I keep hearing that as ringtone now. Ringtone. <laughs> Oh, I stubbed my ringtone on the stool. As <laughs> Dad says, you've won a speedboat. Look at what Dave. you can do. On. Uh, Dave Carboard says, I'm so confused. Yeah, and Paul <laughs> says, phalanges at you ruined it. <laughs> <laughs> then he deletes it. <laughs> uh, uh, talking, Paul, you can't, you can't spell it wrong and then repost it because the joke's gone by that point. He can, he tried. But... Who's worse, the idiot that ruined it or the idiot that couldn't spell the fact that I ruined it? Yeah, I, was, I was just hoping nobody would notice. <laughs> I'm not going dancing. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't realise they were also called Phalange. I'm shutting up. Right, just give me a mug away. Shut up, Ted. <laughs> uh, yeah. <clears throat> now, it should be up to Chris to do a question for the moment. Yeah, go on, Chris. Oh, all of a sudden. Oh, yeah, dear. all of a sudden, the lights turn on, Chris. Um, for your Mark II, he models mug. Remember, if you don't win one, you can buy this from the website. They charge you just whatever it costs them to get them made. It's like eight pounds something. I think they don't make any profit off these. They sell them at cost. So if you want one of these, add it to your order. And free postage, I believe. Yeah, free. Uh, I don't know. I'm not going to say that in case it's not. But for the, for the mug anyway. For the, if you yeah. just want the mug, it would. I think it's free Sometimes. You'll get the mug posted to you free when you buy the Dora. Mm. You have to buy the mug. You're not going to get the mug free, but. <laughs> Just send, just send a mail. Dear Pete, I'd like to order the Dora, and the guy said you'd throw a mug in for free if I did. Yes. Chris, have you come up with a question yet? We're still living for you. I, I've, I've thought about a question. I have a question that might work. <laughs> okay. Does anyone doubt this show is addictive, says Anders Eriksson? <laughs> this is three idiots. What more do you Sergeant need? Bones got his mug last week. Lovely cup. Yeah. It's like Top Gear without the cars and bellies. It's great. Yeah. <sighs> right. My question is... Um, right. Yeah, easy. <laughs> easy question. Dancing for lunch? No, it's not going to be anything to do with phalanges. I'm going to oh. wait till Fox has got a mouthful of liquid. No, I won't do that either. I'm going to have to make for the mug for the mug, everybody. Not not that mug, different mug. Um, I've just finished my build for models. What was it? Go. I've moved it out of the way so you can't see it and read it on the side of the box. Magical kebab. Mm. The finest it doesn't have to be the exact numbers and everything. I, I'll take most answers. Yeah. So, uh, BJ says Clarkson, Hammond, and me have nothing on us three. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Spitty Q8. Uh, Spitty Q8 says pointy jets, but Swinging Pig is correct with MIG, MIG yeah. planes, MIG 21. Yep. Uh, MIG, MIG is close enough. That's all I really need. So, Swinging Pig. Uh, yes, indeed. Well done. Congratulations. Send an email, as ever, to ted, ted at emodels. Emodels.co. Okay. That is, of course, because people will get it wrong. That is, of course, just simply ted at emodels.co.uk. Uh, there's, there's probably millions of emails <laughs> flying around in the ether yes. now. Ted at ted at emodels dot ted. <laughs> <laughs> emodels at ted dot com dot ted co dot yes. ted at emodels dot co <clears throat> dot uk. Uh, tell us you won the mug. And we'll get him models to send you one. Include your name and address, of course. Oh, for the yeah. stickers, we send those out. For the mugs, we just forward your details to your models, and they then send the mug out to you. As far as we know, these are still in stock. Uh, so as Q8 says, uh, a mug for a mig. A mig mug. Mug mig. Mig mug mug mig. Uh, Team Inep says, a badly painted kit. Oh, yeah, nice writing right. words, then. I'm might not, not going to give you a sticker now. Are we getting them stickers now? No, I'm not going to get them. I've, they've accidentally got lost in the post, Paul. Sorry. Can I just can I just point something out that I've just noticed? Do you know what? Do you know what's a really bad thing to have happen? When your webcam is there, behind it is a curtain, and going up the curtain is a huge spider. <gasps> Don't tell my wife. Just seen it go. Don't it's gone behind the box now, and I'm like, oh, I've got to find that before I go to bed. Because <laughs> it's right, just gone. I'm looking at the webcam, and it's gone like that, and I'm like. Yeah, over there. You, you've just been shouted at from downstairs telling you to go away. I think, I think she thought it was on my oh, camera. It's, not, it's on Fox's camera. It's all oh, right. On my curtain. He's not, right curtain. Off. It, it's not going to come down here. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, no. It's got legs, oh, but it can't walk that far. It's, it's on, on my telly, not your telly. It was the general shouting from downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Chris does not like spiders. Yeah, she doesn't like spiders at all. <sighs> right. We're done then, aren't we? Oh, we got a thingy from Thing. What's it? Oh, we got a thing from last week, do. Yeah. Oh, yes, mm -hmm. yes, we do. I've got to do that. 
Mm. Guess you better lock it on me then, Tedward. I'll lock it on you. Yes. You could you could read some of the answers out as well. This, this. I, could, I could do something. I could work for my dinner, I suppose, sing for my supper. Let me know when it's locked. I'm screen sharing. Up till you. You, you. you have the con. I have the con. Dive, dive, dive. Spellung. Yeah. Right. Uh, the shipyard certificate says it can go to 90 metres, though it can go deeper. Right, if you remember last week, I don't know where that was coming from. If you remember last week, we uh, gave away, or we were putting up for giveaway, the Ravel 172nd Flying Saucer Haunabu uh, 2, uh, which is the completely fictional, made-up, didn't actually exist, um, German flying saucer wonder weapon. They, they we were talking about off. designing it, didn't they? They, they, they? they were plans or something. Uh, there were sketches and drawings, and that's as far as it ever got. But then the conspiracy theorists have decided now that this all leads to anti-gravity technology and bases in Antarctica and, and Germans being on the moon and Mars. And No, none of that happened. No. Wait, was there a Helmboo one? Uh, possibly. I don't know. I don't know. But yes, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's proper conspiracy theory fodder Nazis on the moon type scenario. And some people actually believe it, which is kind of sad really but there you go anyway yeah so we're giving this kit away this is the kit that came out about a year ago uh, and was instantly mired in controversy because of some of the decal signage uh, which breached german law so they withdrew it and then they relaunched it but in the meantime when they withdrew the original version of this people were scalping it on ebay for like three four hundred pounds and there were people that were buying it for three or four hundred pounds when of course Ravel just released it a month later with different decals so there you go if you bought this for three or four hundred quid don't oh! Anyway, we're giving this away. Uh, and we asked you last uh, week, we asked you to go on to last week's show, which you can see here. There's a lovely man looking at you. Uh, he's delivering the milk, looks like. Or well, he could be commentating the wrestling. I'm not sure. It could be dark. I, I think I was just waiting for stuff to start happening. Yeah, I think you're commentating the snooker, actually, with some clutter in the background. But we asked you... White, the red ball is behind the blue one. <laughs> There's watching in black and white. <laughs> so we asked you to put a comment about space on the uh, video uh, and i'm going to refresh it now if you haven't put a comment on here by now you're out you're too late so oh now i've got to sit through an advert <laughs> i'll just mute that i don't care about josh i don't trust people with jaws squarer than a table edge it just doesn't work oh that's me there's you <laughs> oh, your, lip, your lips didn't move then Ted. Oh, you look shocked yeah. as well oh lips aren't yeah. moving or anything yeah Anyway, yes, we actually put a, a not necessarily amusing, but a comment about space. I'll do a couple of them. Uh, Carl at Making Model says, what do you call a loony spaceman? It's on the screen. You can read it if you want. Sorry, I was reading the chat. Uh, it's an astronaut. There you go. Uh, uh, space is big. You just won't believe how vastly, hugely, mind-bogglingly big it is. I mean, you may think it's a long way down the road to the chemist, but that's what peanuts to space, says Phil Kett, quoting Douglas Adams. Um... Let's have a look. Uh, Andrew Martin says, it intrigues me that light... I, I've not pre-read these, so I hope none of these are actually bad comments. <laughs> it intrigues me that light comes through space from other planets that has travelled for light years to get here. Does that suggest that if we could see those other planets in sufficient detail, we'd be looking at their past? Indeed it does. Mm. Um, everything you look at in the entire universe, from a star millions of light years away to the finger in front of your face, the moment you look at something... Um, uh, a micron from your eye you're looking into the past even if it's the finger in front of your face or the table over the room or your wife sat next to you or the food on your plate when you're looking at your dinner it's already like a millionth of a second old out of time so there you go. well even the sun itself if it was to disappear we wouldn't know about it for like eight and a half minutes yep yeah. when you look at the sun you're looking at it as it was eight minutes ago when you look way out into the galaxy you're seeing things that probably aren't even there anymore you see they come to e models live stream and they think they're not going to learn anything. I know, and they don't. It's amazing. Yeah, it's amazing. How right. do you know? <laughs> um, Adam Clark, well, it's cold outside. There's no kind of atmosphere, and no one can hear you scream. Mashing the mashing the the uh, franchises there. Mm -hmm. uh, Phil Lewis says there's a theory that states if anyone ever discovers exactly what the universe is for and why it's here it will instantly disappear and be replaced by something even more bizarre and inexplicable. There is another theory which states that this has already happened. That's more Douglas Adams for you. Yeah, he did a lot about space, didn't he? Yeah. Uh, then let's have a look. And the last one we'll do. Uh, Paul Horner says, why does Chris need to tidy the spare room? Because he's run out of space. 
Yeah. Anyway, so what we're going to do, we're going to pull a winner. So <laughs> just to be fair, I'll do. I'll refresh the page one more time. If you've not commented by now, you're kind of screwed. So there, oh, I've got another advert. Hang on, shut up. <laughs> listen to emo children trying to sell me things with stupid hair. He's oh, not an emu. That's, hair, that's me. <laughs> There's emo children with stupid hair. <laughs> so we're going to do, we're going to take the URL for all the comments. We're going to go to our favorite uh, YouTube random comment picker that picks random YouTube comments randomly from a YouTube page in the comments page section. Paste the URL in there and we're going to load the comments. So we have 47 unique comments. Are we ready? Do I get a countdown or a drum roll or some kind of build up? Five, um, two. four, four, two, two seven. One. Comes after three. Six. No. No, it's, it stays at three because that's the number you pick when you pick it off the. Uh, so what's in store? Oh, yeah, three, yeah. Oh, yeah. Anders is doing it in the chat. It's okay. Three, two, Oh, a bit of a pause. <laughs> might be a leg for the lot. This is like Manchester City Council <laughs> meetings. It's just uh, <laughs> it's like it's like announcing the winner of the Eurovision Song Contest, isn't it? Nil point. Like <laughs> dramatic pause. Luxembourg, nil point. We ready? I shall. I shall do a count now. Ready? Three, a two, two four, one. Pow! Matty's metal detecting South Wales. A Martian is a native inhabitant of the planet Mars. By the way, I'm not from Mars. Lol. <laughs> so, so Matty's metal detecting South Wales, who we don't know what he does for a living. We never find out. We or to, where he does it. He never says. We never find out. Um, or what he does. Uh, but yeah. Matty's metal detecting South Wales. Well done. Congratulations. You have one yourself. The completely fictional flying saucer that didn't actually exist. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, you just need to send us an email to ted at emodels.co.uk and say that you want that there kit. Hashtag 03903. You could just say the Nazi spaceship. They'll probably know which one you need. But don't forget, if you build it, we want to see it on the gallery. Yep. Make sure you oh, take lots of pictures. I'll just do some quickie shots. We never did this last week. You do get shots of the bits. Yeah. It's quite sizable. It's quite meaty and big. It's not tiny. Being a Revell kit, of course, the box art has a terrible paint job, so ignore that. Because <laughs> they really do hire just talentless model makers for their box art. I don't know why they do that. Uh, you could also, uh, when it comes through the door and you unwrap it, why not take a selfie with a picture with, with it and send that in as well? We always like yeah. to see who wins our prizes. Yeah, so there you go. Well done, Matty's Metal Detecting South Wales. You are the winner. So send us an email, teddyemodels.co.uk, uh, and we'll forward that on to the eModels gang to get that on the way to you. So well done. Congratulations. I shall stop screen sharing. Where's the button? There's the button. Boing. Have you unlocked it off me, Ted? I have now. Good girl. I shall close those tabs. Closing, oh, I'll leave them open just in case. So, well done. Well done. Well, phew. Yeah. Yeah. Speedy Curate says, box art by Norm. No, it's too good for Norm. Because <laughs> remember, Norm didn't do anything. He just... Oh, right. Yeah. Well, well done. Uh, yeah, I didn't win, says somebody moved. <laughs> Michael Jackerman. <laughs> uh, uh, cool. Yeah, that's about... Uh, a good timing, a bit of good timing. That's about bringing it towards the end of the evening. Mark well, Dale says, I learned lots tonight. Not sure it will improve my life, but there's always next Monday, I guess. Yeah. You know, you'll never learn anything valuable on this show. You'll learn a lot, but it won't be of any use to you whatsoever. Yeah, uh, yeah it becomes a mind numbing experience, doesn't it? Go, <laughs> I don't know if numbing's the right word. <laughs> <laughs> you go away here thinking, what happened in the last two hours? Why, why am I here? What am I doing? Where, where am I? <laughs> Certainly, an effect it has on us. Uh, why am I <laughs> oh, Frankie goes. Toby Wood has, has left us. He says, "Bye, guys. It was a long day. See you soon. Thanks for coming in, Frankie. Probably already gone by now." Yeah. Uh, Phil Kit says, "I'm actually kind of glad I didn't win, even though I wanted that kit. Well, you can still buy it. Yeah, yeah. available. E models do offer you uh, items in exchange for money, goods yep. and services in exchange for funds. Yeah. They would even post it to you if you yeah. wish." Uh, Nana Sunrise says, "Good night. I'll see you all next Monday." Oh, Nana Sunrise. Nana Sunrise. Best name in the chat. That. Yeah, apart from Brian Windmill and Dave Cowboard. Well, yeah, there is that. Windmill and Cowboard are two crime-fighting 1970s experts with their official police. Yeah. What was it? Was it, uh, it was a knackered old uh, Allegro, was it? We were driving them around in? Yeah, yeah probably. A brown, Bring it to the Allegro. <laughs> brown Allegro with a vinyl roof. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, Donald Mott says, I enjoyed it, gents. See you next time. Hopefully the next model giveaway will be a factual model, says Michael Jackman. We can't promise anything. 
Oh, will it? Will yes, it? It'll, be a, it'll be a modern a model of the human ear or something. <laughs> uh, yeah, people did appreciate them. A oh. one-to-one -one model of the human butt. <laughs> Yeah, we, we've said this before, but like, you know, we, we jokingly showed the human tooth any model sold out that night. And then I showed the half a horse any model sold out that night. So we said, we showed the most ridiculous things. People bought them. Yeah. So it's always worth looking for the fun things just for the silliness. Matt Dale says, night, night. I'm off to find a use for some long nose, non scratching players. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now you've ordered them. Don't. Uh. Yeah. Right, yeah, I think it's about time that uh, we called it night as well. Uh, Tricky Jackie says, will you go so I can have my hubby back, please? <laughs> Denied. Yeah. Uh, right, yeah, it's time we left and we did it. Uh, we, we recouped and go lie down in a dark room and recoup and do it all again next week. And don't forget, uh, dancing for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we should we should make sure Fox is aware of the answer before things. Yeah. So he does, yeah. yeah. Then I was going to use the next answer, which was Halux for the big tour, but somebody else would give that answer. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, never mind. Oh, oh well, right. Thank you everybody for joining in tonight, and hopefully, God willing, we'll see you all again next week. Uh, same time, same place, same bat channel. Uh, so. Um, that, on that note, we'll see you again. Good night, all. Bye. 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 Good night. I'm extending my phalanges. Phalanges.